And we are live. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of You Know What? Let Me Just Say Podcast. I am your host, Ray. With me, as always, we have Father. Yellow. We have Dion. A dark hood is ghetto. And also, we have Crystal. What it do? How's everybody doing? Good. Also, D Wolf done it to the chat. How you doing, D Wolf? Yo, I'm good. Sorry about that internet trouble. It's all right. We just started. Uh, cool. Hey, yo, father, blur count's coming. Hey, are we ready for another white girl to win the contest? <laughs> yo, please. <laughs> yo. Bruh, I just, the bruh, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm only going there for one thing. I just don't want to hear no Negroes sitting there talking about representation and inclusion and diversity. Suck my dick. <laughs> oh man. Uh <laughs> yo, all right, without with that being said, let's get started. Um I don't know, I don't know about y'all, but it's just like um I know I I play 2K, but I haven't really paid for a game, for a 2K game in a while. So, a uh, 2K23 is coming out, and they have a championship edition that is $150. So, do you, so do you see yourself, maybe not 2K, but any game where you see yourself buying it for $150? Yo, it better be something. VR, uh, like state of the art uh, VR shit. You get a chair included, <laughs> something. Like game. I was about to ask, like, what comes included in this championship package for this game? Uh, for one, it's a pre-order, so um, it comes with and hold on, I yep, all right, uh. I think this is it. Uh, t- <clears throat> uh, it comes with 12 month NBA League Pass subscription, 100K virtual currency, okay. uh, some some my boot some my team stuff if you're in the my team. But anybody that plays that game, they kind of like put more money into that. So that's really nothing. Um, some Michael Jordan theme stuff, some double XP, some end game end game stuff that you get for free. That's much about it. It's like it's a lot of end game stuff. You don't really get much out of it, but a subscription to NBA League Pass, and that's if you even watch basketball like that. So, yeah. <laughs> um, outside of the least, the only thing on there that seems even remotely worth a damn. It's probably the league pass, and then even with that, not not for no hundred and fifty dollars. I think no. one twenty, you're pushing it. No, I have to disagree because you could just get that shit by itself. What? Yeah, for I mean, same price? they got no. They got a regular sixty dollars. Uh, for PS Five, it's like seventy bucks. But the thing about I don't know if you play 2K, but the thing about 2K is they have in-game purchases where you can, like, buy these in-game currency for your character to boost yourself up to, like, 85. So it's not even like you're going in, like, 99 because 99 is the highest. You boost it up to, like, 85, and then you still got to work your character, build your character from there. But for most people who don't put no money in it, you're going from, like, 60 to 99. So... The hell are we talking it, about? Uh, t- uh, 2K. They got uh some t- uh, pre-order purchases that goes up to one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, that's yeah, that was the first gen. Did Jesus Christ? Yeah, and um, I don't know. Like even me as a basketball fan, it's just like I don't see anybody buying that much. But also, I want to ask this question: You think that this might be the future of gaming, where Games might have one hundred and fifty dollar bundles. No, I don't think yes, it's the future. I think no, so. no, no. <laughs> and the reason why I'm saying no is because we already are in the future. They're charging one hundred and fifty dollars right now. 
Well, well yeah, no he has a point. That's that's a, that's a solid point right there. Mm. This is it. Motherfuckers <laughs> is releasing games that are unfinished. <laughs> They're releasing the same product over and over and over. They're releasing games where you have to buy in-game currency to boost some motherfucking stats that you could do. Like, 20 years ago, you wasn't doing that shit with money. You was doing that shit because they put that shit in the game and they actually wanted you to play the game and actually, you know, have a relationship with your character in that game. This time, you could just spend some motherfucking money and then they justify it by saying, oh, you get this, that, this, that, this, that, and this. But what about a good-ass game? Can I get that? I can't get a good-ass game? You know what I mean? Not to mention, like, this is a yearly release. This And it's a yearly release, so it's not a game then. It's a subscription. It's a virtual subscription package to a product that reviews itself every single year and you pay $60, $60 for it. Some people pay seventy. Now like they're charging one hundred and fifty. Now they're charging one hundred and fifty dollars. But now, nah, but even with the MMO, the most you're paying is like twenty dollars max. Mm-hmm. Like not even I don't even know of an MMO that charges twenty dollars. Like the most the, the MMOs I know, like they charge like fourteen ninety nine, like a month. It's, I think the, basically- I think the only one that really charges something like that, like more than that, is like a uh, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is fourteen ninety nine, I believe. Oh really? Yeah, it's fourteen ninety nine. So like when it comes to shit like that, they're literally just doing it because they know niggas is gonna pay for it. Because the market is not for gamers. The market is for the is for two K heads. They have an entire like loyal ass fan base now. Because, like, they have an entire ecosystem. You go to fucking YouTube, there's a whole bunch of 2K motherfucking YouTube content creators. And they make making bank just fucking building the characters that are literally gifted to them by the developers. They do that shit all the motherfucking time. Then you have the self-made uh, YouTube creators that, um, you know, they have a huge following because they play the game. People subscribe to them a lot. That means they can justify buying all the best shit in the game and showcasing it to the people so that they can feel like, oh, I can, you know, buy this shit too and have my characters with yours. It's literally a con game right before your very eyes. So, you know, that question about it being the future, we already are in the future. Motherfuckers are getting finessed off of video games now. Welcome. (laughs) Good shit. Real shit though. That's real shit. Hey, uh I'm just for the fact that I'm not picking on 2K, but even though this is a fuck no for me, and I tell people like even as someone that plays the game is like, Do you want to get this game? I'm like, fuck no. I usually wait till it's like ten dollars and then even even and either then I buy it or I just get it for free because sometimes it comes on for free. It's like it's not oh it's not it hasn't been a while since I bought a 2K game after like I've been disappointed. But also not even this, like Sonic Origins was going through the same bullshit. And to me, it was just like, why am I paying sixty dollars for a game that's been out for twenty years? Just 30, so I can play 30s. 30, 30, excuse me. Just just so I can play Knuckles in Sonic One. Like <laughs> I, I don't know. I think uh, they they uh, the video games the video game market is trying to find new ways to finesse people, and people is just like just doing it instead of just boycotting. Yeah, because now it's yeah it's become capitalized. It's become a commodity now. They're not making video games for the enjoyment of it. They're making video games to make money. That's literally it. And I think that uh, like almost a, they get well, a lot of video gamers these days are addicts, right? The video game industry uh-huh. they get more than the movie industry. Yeah, they do. Depends on depends on it depends on the company. Mm-hmm. It's a select few developers that make more than movies. Who's dying? Like, I think mean, like Nintendo they they just make banks off of that three DS by itself, like. Not even the game, just like the system itself. They done made multi millions off of that console. Thanks. What is that Dragon Ball sound and noise in the background? I don't know what you're listening to. Oh. Because I hear it's nothing. Like air, but I don't know. Nah, I don't know. I think he I think Shining Wolf is losing it. You good? 
I know that was uh, something on Facebook going repeating itself on my phone. That's what oh. it was. Uh, so that was your fault. Yeah, that was my phone. Something on Facebook. Uh, it just came up okay. out of the blue. But yeah, anyway. Any last words before we move on to our next topic? And ain't nothing else to say. Move on. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> You tired of the gaming industry? I'm trying tired to finesse. Of, bro, this this more than the gaming industry. I'm tired of people. <laughs> Pretending like they motherfucking gamers, but you spending hundred and fifty dollars on a product you're gonna do the same shit for next year. Bitch, you're not it a gamer, you're ain't a subscriber. Different. It ain't nothing different. The only difference is the drink got rate tracing now. <laughs> Fuck out my face. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh now we have ray tracing. Yeah, man. Like, I'm really going to pay some extra money to see LeBron James with uh, ray tracing fucking dunk on you. Like, no, I'm good. I'll just watch NBA if that's the case. <laughs> or better yet, I'll just go outside. Uh-oh. I, I, all I'm going to say is I remember when I was playing X Men versus Street Fighter online and you had to pay for fucking. Dark Evil Ryu and Dark Chun Li. They she wasn't even called Shadow Lee. They just called her Dark Chun Li, and it was just this online fighting game during. And I was looking like, why would anybody pay for fucking characters? Now look at the future that we're in. <laughs> so should be on. But I feel we even bad buying fucking legacy characters in fucking fighting games. But that's just me. Okay, on to our next uh, topic. Um, I see this every year, or at least until like Juneteenth started. So, you know, there's, you have your Juneteenth, and then you have your July 4th. And usually when July 4th comes around, there's always the spark. There's always a debate going around. It's like, as a black person, do you feel like you should celebrate, can you celebrate July 4th? Some people say yes, some people say no. Um, do you guys have any thoughts on, or do you even care? Yeah, Say it again. Yeah, just, just... <laughs> uh, Lee, can you celebrate the Fourth of July and Juneteenth at the same time, no. or at least, or when them days come about? No, you can't. <laughs> why? Why do you? Why do you say so? I mean, because it's literally Juneteenth is about the is about the slaves in Texas finding out that they were free from an institution that put them there in the first place. The United States is the institution that put them there. It would be a contradiction to celebrate Fourth of July just based off of that alone, because you because you know the Fourth of July is supposedly you're, so you're, they're celebrating. Uh, you know, the independence of the United States from Britain. But then again, it's the same, again, it's the same institution that put your people in slavery. So exactly what are you celebrating? They were celebrating their independence from Britain, but not ours. We ain't, we ain't, we was never underneath Britain, so I got a, why, why are we celebrating? I got a he was still three-fifths at that time, shit. Mm-hmm. I, I, got, I, got a, I got a slight question. Reese God in the building. What's good? Funny, and Britain started slavery. <laughs> How you doing? Like, okay, so what do you consider celebrating? Because me, I got kids. My kids like fireworks. For some I was going to say that. My, my kids like fire. I personally wore black on 4th of July. I'm going, I'm going to continue to do that. I'm not wearing red, red white, and blue. I, I, I don't. I don't agree with anything that's going on here. So I'm not about to celebrate it. I wore black. I wore a black shirt with black sh- shorts <laughs> and black shoes. I wore black. But I also lit fireworks for kids. So when you when you say celebrate, uh, explain to the to the audience what you mean by celebrate. Because people will try to, oh no, it's not celebrating because kids, such and such and such. Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Because like you, you have to get, clarify what you mean. By celebration, Father. Um, so I would say celebration as in having an active interest in 
or like aligning yourself with the ideals of the holiday in the first place. For in example, spirit. yeah, like waving the American flag, you know, decked out red, white, and blue stuff like that, you know, because that invokes the spirit. I'm a of patriot. The you okay, know what I'm I saying? Just, I was making, I was yeah. just making sure that my mindset when I said I wasn't celebrating Fourth of July was the same mindset as everybody else in this panel because yeah. I believe that if I don't, I'm not wearing a flag. I'm not wearing the colors. I'm not doing none of this bullshit. The only thing I did was light fireworks. But I live, I live, I live in Southeast. Who doesn't light fireworks? So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really call that celebrating because, like, it, it's not really you're not really invoking the spirit of it. Like, if niggas went to go barbecue on the Fourth of July, I'm not that. I don't really consider that celebrating. It's a day off. You know what I'm saying? The whole country's, you know, it's hot. Whatever. It's hot as hell. It's outside. hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? You might as well. Sound like your mind is still on the plantation, brother. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, my brother. Like I said before, yo, I've been looking into history hard and knowing the real story outside of the Rockefeller books. I'm like, no, I'm not celebrating it in spirit. There was a time in my life when I did. And uh, right now, I'm like, oh, no, no. But I am, you know, these things we experience as kids, so... That shit was fascinating. Yo, that shit was fun. I could not wait for fucking July. And when it lingered, like when you, we started in the middle of June, right? And then it, and then 4th of July comes to the big party. And then afterwards, yo, we're lingering. Yo, we're trying to make it last as long as possible, but find something to pop off that left over. You know, that's what we did. So that's what I, th- like, when it comes to that time, I just only think about, oh, it's the time for fireworks. That's it. It's time for barbecues. That's it. I'm not. I'm not. Yo, the same where it's supposed to be, what it was intended to be, and where it is right now. I'm like, nah. What, what's there to sell up? Nah. We gotta fix shit. Truth needs to come out. There are people who are old shit. Nah. I'm not celebrating. But I'm gonna. Where's my you know, restoration? Traditional, traditional from my childhood. I'm gonna do that. And like I said, y'all, the kids. The joy, yo! I'm like, I was there. That's what I'm. That's what I'm celebrating on that date. That's what that date that's means it. to that's, me. That's that's the only. That's the only thing. D will be. I, that's the only thing that got me up that morning was the fact that I got kids and I, I fireworks and mm-hmm. this, and that, and I got more kids coming and and that's about it. Other than that, like me personally, it, when I look back at when I was a child and how I celebrated Fourth of July as a kid. I didn't do much. It, it was nothing. It was it was nothing celebratory about Fourth of July. We had a cookout. We 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 showed up. We, they got high. They got drunk. The adults, uh, the kids, ran around. We sang fireworks. We took leftovers. We went home. Nigga, that's a birth. That's a birthday party. <laughs> it's, it's, let's face it. Nobody nobody when they was a kid was thinking about. Them being freed from Britain, yeah. When, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, before I'm saying, July rolled in, but I'm like saying, you know, I'm you saying, get older. I'm like when I got older, I went to school and I realized, you know, when I no, was I'm indoctrinated, saying, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm saying it. In the you know, when I'm, you get older, you ask now questions. I'm like, holy shit, what was I thinking? I'm I'm saying it in the sense of it. when you really look back at it, black people as a unit, we've never been really celebratory about Fourth of July. Not really. We was, it was like it was fireworks. It's, it's, it's like all right, it's a, it's a day off. Let's let's go and like these fireworks. Let's get some food together, and that's about it. But we've never been the people to like really go and celebrate, celebrate like a Fourth of July fucking parade. Or, or, or so I, I've never gotten a Fourth of July flyer. Like personally, like I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I mean, when you go to the club, they make flyers out of anything for any day of the week. It doesn't matter what it is; they'll figure out how to put it on the flyers. But other, than I seen that, Martin Luther King with a rolling on his wrist. So yeah, exa- you are exactly, correct. exactly. Damn. So, would that be? Would that be? They, they, they literally had an Obama celebration party at the club. <laughs> this is. This is. This is. This is this this is not a punchline. This is real facts. 
<laughs> Shout out to conceited. Shout out to conceited. This is not a punchline. This is real, is real facts. Facts. They literally Straight had facts. an Obama uh, 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 inauguration party with TCB. With <laughs> TCB. I'm. This is. I, I swear to y'all. So with that bit, like. All I'm all I'm trying to say is we we I all I'm trying to say is I really want us to take Juneteenth a lot more serious. I want us to celebrate Juneteenth the way they celebrate Fourth of July. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie, I celebrated it last year, but I didn't celebrate it this year. No, I I I celebrated it this year. I, I mean I didn't I mean I, I really didn't do much. I didn't I didn't do a lot, but I celebrated this year. I celebrated it last year. Went, I went watched Loaded Lux versus Calico. Yeah, shout, right. shout, shout out to Loaded Lux. That way, I just become conscious. That's what it is. Always, man. Always. That's the old. That's the only way. It's the. I only told him Harlem Hospital was giving pants out. You know out. what I did, right? You know what I did, right? <laughs> what you do? I, 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 what took, you do? I took a diff- I took a different direction. I listened to a daylight freestyle. Oh shit! You know how conscious he could be. Yeah, that boy to be conscious. You know what I'm saying? Listen to a, a common album. You know what I'm saying? Uh, read a couple most deaf verses. <laughs> you should be fine. You know? But all in all, I just want us to take Juneteenth serious. I know it's just becoming a holiday officially, but we need to make it a thing for real. Like, like it shouldn't be... I, 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 I might sound crazy when I say this, but there should be Juneteenth sales. Just saying. I, I'm just saying. Well, you know. Uh, there was, but the wrong before. people got up in. Let's just say the wrong people got up in there. Yeah, but I'm just. I'm not. I'm not saying it like I want. It. I'm saying it like I want to do. I want Juneteenth to be as important as the other holidays that they make sales for. I get you. I get you. So uh, <laughs> I, I agree. I agree with you, but I'm like a lot of these businesses, you, you, like you these know, businesses like, that would have the sales are like white businesses, and they're not going to take it seriously. White, Asian, whatever. Right. Are they going to take it seriously? And uh, maybe, maybe not. It's maybe not, if they're young. The way I see it, it's not for them to take seriously. It's for us to take seriously. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about the white. I'm not worried about white, Asian, yeah. even the Afro Latino. Like, if they come in, they want to. Yeah, exactly. Black people, I think, for black people, black uh, for like that, yeah. yeah, we should. Yeah. I think we now should you, like fireworks on Juneteenth. Now y'all get where I'm coming from. It's, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm, I'm saying it in the sense of we have to make it as important as the 4th of July. We have to celebrate it as if it's the 4th of July. We have to mm-hmm. broadcast it. We have to put it out there for people to know how important it is. All right, so this next year I'm having a Juneteenth party. Hey. <laughs> and y'all was like... Do it, but we got to do it correctly. We can't come in and be <laughs> yep. ghetto on a Juneteenth party. Oh, no. No, no, no. We can't come no. in, I don't, we can't come I don't. in and pretend it like we something that we not. I want us to enjoy nah. ourselves on a Juneteenth party. I, I don't want any fighting. I don't want no arguing. I want I want together. Oh no, 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 no! I don't I don't do that. I don't do that. <laughs> I, I wanted to be like, I wanted to be like a Medea <laughs> movie after the at the Cicely Tyson cursed everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, as far as everybody else, hey, I don't slow. Want to be that, oh my god! <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. Look at you out there. Gyrating. 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 Why won't why won't you love each other? <laughs> said, Look, you out here. Look see right this way. Give him a big hug. Is this what we're fought for? <laughs> and you wanna I, know what's crazy? Hate, you wanna know what's even more crazy than that? I bet you next year they did the exact same shit. I bet you they did. I guarantee you they did. Hello. Yeah. I hear you. I'm having technical difficulties. Hold on a second. Okay. Stupid okay. Ass. All right. Um. All right. I'm, I'm back. Okay. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak from I'm gonna speak for myself when I'm gonna say this. Uh, whoever, does, if you're a black person, you don't celebrate Fourth of July. I don't blame you at all, especially when you realize the history and the bullshit and all that, uh, all the other stuff that's happened with black people in this history. With that being said, I still celebrate Fourth of July. I just, I mean, whether it's just like a day off or you know, just to look at fireworks or you know, uh, just if I wanted a barbecue. Hell, I even go as far as I still do like the American flag, especially when it's black and white. I love the the recession flag. I think Jeezy made me like that flag even more after the recession album. Um, as someone that's served in the military, as someone that's been out and you know have seen some of the world, I do like. I don't take everything what I get for granted, but I do, you know, it does maybe broaden my horizons and learn about the world a little bit more. And then as far as America goes, once you learn the bullshit, as a black man, you like, you get, uh, I don't know about y'all, when I used to listen to uh, history and all that stuff, the one thing I always get proud of, because even through our bullshit that we went through, we built like we damn near built this country. Like no most of the inventions no that most of the inventions that are used right now is used from black people. Yes. Especially oh, when it comes to traffic signal, the light bulbs, mm -hmm. the super soaker, mm. our cell phones, everything. It can't to me they couldn't hide that much. Yeah, you can't they you can't hide, hide that much. Can't. No, Too you much. can't. There's a reason for that. That's the shit I've been discovering recently. So, so I, yeah. Like the way I look at the Fourth of July is, it's just like even through our bull, even through the bullshit this country has put black people through, we done, we done, we're like we're like cockroaches. You can you can't kill us. We'd survive anything. Like we will always be, like we will always be here. And not only that, we done made this country better. Just you know, if it like you give us an opportunity. We make built we uh we make communities, we make, you know, like I said, we invent things, we do we could do everything, if not even better than some of our white counterparts. Yo, done. we were doing better than them when it came to the um mother and father household. Exactly. We were doing we were, better than we were. them. Yep. This is fact. We were getting exactly. married more too. We was getting married more too. Yeah. So <laughs> we kinda had to because <laughs> You could do more with two people and two incomes than you can with, you know, by your own some. Exactly. Exactly. So, I, like, like I said, yeah, yeah, so like I said, if you if you don't celebrate and you just want to celebrate Juneteenth, that's fine. I'm going to celebrate the 4th of July, uh, but, you know, but I hope you understand my reasonings why. Mm-hmm. I understand. I still we go, we go, we go hand in hand with this country, pretty much, hmm. right? Because uh, we were here just about as long as the uh, white people were. Yeah, I still celebrate Fourth of July because at the end of the day, when black men were drafted to fight in the wars and stuff, mm -hmm. it's in symbolism of them dying for a country that truly respects their rights back in the day. And we're still having complications today. So I celebrate, I celebrate um, I believe, June 10th, and I celebrate the 4th because you cannot enjoy July 4th without June 10th. It goes hand in hand. And as I do it for personal reasons, but as you know, um, corporate America does it for the purposes of building the economy and making it more so. Like, I don't feel like them holding or withholding the history of June 10th is a coincidence. The economy has been up. So they're pushing this June 10th not for the purpose of really and genuinely, um, what you call it, celebrating the fact that people's freedom for Black people were on June 10th. But mainly for the fact that the black dollar bill makes them the most money for the companies. So I see through the bullshit. Um, but I celebrate both days. I'm listening to everything y'all are saying, but I still cannot in good conscience celebrate the 4th of July. There's too much pain. 
too much. That that's perfectly fine. I do not blame. I do not blame you at all. I do not blame you at all. All right. Uh, any any last words before we move on to our next topic? The land of the free. <laughs> Uh, uh like, I have faith. All I know is free I have faith capitalism. And yo, I know we're gonna win in the end. I know it. So, and when I say we, I mean black people. I, know, I hope so. I know. I don't hope it. I know it. Fuck that shit. This is the time. That's all I'm saying. Do I think things are getting weird? Yo, there's a reason for that, and people are starting to see. And that number is growing. So, yeah, I know we're going to win. I know it. Well, speaking of weird, D-Wolf, let's get to some of the weird Senate and office vote for me elections commercials that we done seen. Like the uh, senator from Rhode Island twerking on the beach telling people vote for him. Uh, <laughs> there was one in, I don't, I don't know where he was, but he was a Republican and he had this commercial where he was talking about having AR-15, so 30-round rifles, and he was about to shoot the Klan, and he was dressed as Malcolm X. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> and oh, then God. you got <laughs> another black person in Kentucky. He was the first black Kentucky. He was running for Democrat with the noose around his neck. <laughs> uh, yo, talking to, uh, <laughs> straight up, how yo. Do y'all feel about, how do y'all feel about these uh, voting tactics that's been... <laughs> That's been going around lately. You talking oh, about the oh, They are going to the ah. extreme right now. Both sides. You see that shit? And to their uh-huh. part and to their party line. The message to the extreme. You see that? Something's up. <laughs> Something's up. Because that's I just did, crazy. Who would dare? Could you imagine, son? As a kid, or like a, not even too long ago, somebody did that twerking, yo. In that, that was what? Weird, but I would have never, like, I would like, never expect yo. People that. will question the world, yo. People will be like, What is this? Re- nah. People would have woke up a long time ago. I'll tell you that this was a slow roll, but back then, nah. So, you know, something's up. Just put yourself back. Our then current day is now. our current day events is full of debauchery. <laughs> 100%, yo. They I ain't gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna come off as the victim. This. That's the message. Come off as the victim. Then, uh, yeah, they start looking at you and you get away with anything at that point. Like, they were like, they, you, you're like, they're, they're it's tolerated all of a sudden. They, they there's a men, you know, mental we gymnastics of justifying oh, gymnastics why are. that's okay, right? They make it sound okay to do the mental gymnastics. In today's world, is so high up. Yes, it's like it's like Dragon Ball Z versus Dragon <laughs> Ball. You don't even need choreography anymore. You just fly around and zip zip zab everywhere. Yo, it's like nutty. <laughs> it's like they can Yo, they can make like- anything sound right, even if you it, deep within your soul, you know that shit's like retarded. It's like the gravity chamber, yo. <laughs> Hyperbolic. Like, yo, they put it all the way up to five hundred. They working that shit out just to fucking justify this shit. Like, yo, like there are people who understand to live and let live. There are people who understand who are on your side and fully agree with you. Right. And who are all who are of you. And they're seeing this and say, this is too. What? What are you making us look bad? We're not hearing them, son. We're hearing the other side saying that if you talk bad about it, you're a bigot. Mm. But it's Man. bad. But everybody's afraid to say, yo, you know. When you when and you're this with a gun, I'm like, did you not understand what fucking happened with these shootings? The gun's not what we yo, I understand. Like I'm with you on this message, but that shit, we're not you're talking about massacring men, like that's still even though we agree with that, at the same time, something just happened and we don't know what tomorrow will bring with the shootings every fucking day. So why would you? This is not okay. I get the message, yo. I w- I agree with you. This is not the time. They don't fucking care right now. Something's up where they're like, yo, I, 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 um, 
I need to get the seat. I can't let some. They're afraid of somebody else. That's what I think. Because of what who's in charge right now, they know because they they're gonna lose the house. I'll say this right now: they're about to lose the house hard <laughs> this coming election. So they're doing everything, and there are rhinos as well. That's why I always say, like, I ain't just talking about Democrats here. Like, there are Republicans in name only rhinos who are just like Democrats to just say they're fucking Republican and they do the same thing, but to, to the extreme. Just to fuck with the part, you know? So I understand what's going on, yo. And I know there are some legit people in that party that think that way as well. I see everybody's game here, yo. And I'm like, yo, this is not tolerable. What are y'all doing? This is not. But yeah, like you said, yo, this is the culture. What do we see on Instagram every day? So, yeah, ass. Bro, and then desensitized we talk about not, to it. So it's cool. And then, and then we talk about not sexualizing certain people. But it's like, oh, you like, oh, you can't sexualize this person in this movie. But like every time I fucking turn around on the internet or like whatever, someone's twerking, someone's in a thong, someone's ass is in the air. Even in the cartoons. Someone's, someone's spreading the eagle. Even in the cartoons, so like, even universe, uh, yeah, when they revived uh, the God damn Girls, universe? they had that bear doing it. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Oh, yo, yo, pop up girls? Yo, this is this the new pop up girls or this the old joint? The new one, the new one. Oh, I, I ain't see that, but yeah, okay. I, I told you it was a slow roll to make it okay. Mm-hmm. So the people who aren't aware, who are subjugated with this shit, they're like, oh, of course that's okay, but this is how they, this is their lifestyle. It's all right. Like you don't want your child, really? You're lying to yourself right now. What are you doing? They got you. <laughs> The devil is a liar. Regardless of what the what the lifestyle or whatever it is, I feel like it's it's certain stuff. Like as a politician or whatever, you're you're supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to be like a representative, right? You're supposed to be a representative of of the fucking people. So it's just like. You know, you on a beach, you know, dancing on a handstand and shit, or doing whatever other Dude, crazy I, shit. I, I, I can't take you seriously as a politician now. Yeah. But you have to understand that they're not in it to represent people. They're only there to represent an ideology. They're only there to mm-hmm. put to be the representative of the ideas that they want to themselves but, implement. But even with, but even with that, and it, you know, if I if I were a voter. I, again, I want to look at this individual like they're crazy. I'm not, you know, no. Yeah, but that would assume that you actually know what their platform is about. You understand what I'm saying? Because let me ask you a question. The woman that was twerking on the beach video, like, have you ever heard of her at all uh, before that? Nope. nope. <laughs> no. That's exactly my motherfucking point. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And like D Wolf said it earlier, these people are legitimately being disingenuous by putting that shit on the internet for everybody to see in the first place. Because somebody who was serious about their platform wouldn't be in no motherfucking beach twerking. What are you trying to show people? Like if you're a politician and you want uh and you know you rep if you're going to represent people, you also have to understand, you know who's part of the people? Children. Children are watching you. Do you mm-hmm. want the next generation to see you as that type of representation? You know what I'm saying? Like if you if you were running a campaign and you got a and you got a little and you had a little boy and someone was uh twerking and the little boy is seeing that, what is the little boy supposed to think? What is what is being conveyed in that type of message, you know, when you're doing that shit? Probably Why thinking you what, you're probably thinking that women are for popping booty. Probably, I mean, probably, he probably saw objectifying women just based off of that. And the last little joint that they pulled when they was like, uh, get it, what get your booty to the pole. That joint, oh, that God. right there, sending, that that right there, sending an objectification message right there. Both of those, yeah. But what you have to understand is that even without that image, women are going to be objectified anyway because it's part of the of culture, course. it's literally part mm-hmm. of the culture. But and now you, have, you you want to know exactly. what it is. Now you have willing participants. They already know they're going to get objectified. Might as well just play along. 
You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And then the cycle mm-hmm. repeats in itself. So, you know, all these little campaign videos or Negro sitting there running around saying, vote for me because I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Understand that you're in, you're inserting yourself into a system that literally does not care whether you of what ideology you possess. Do you have the money to, you know, make that a reality? And not only that, if there's something that threatens the national interest of the United States of America, you will motherfucking comply. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Democrat or Republican, because we've seen this thing happen. Like, uh, I like we were just talking about Roe v. Wade, and you, you got Democrats over there sitting up there talking about, this is a bad thing. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, but you, you, if you're the Democratic Party and this shit happened, how much power do you really motherfucking have? Y'all motherfuckers will have the presidency, the Senate, and the House of Representatives and still lose. Explain that to me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. at this at this motherfucking point, it's a circus. It's a circus because y'all are so fucking 100%. afraid of Republicans. Y'all are mm-hmm. so fucking afraid of Republicans. And, it and they're so pussies. Comical to see. They're pussy. They're literally yeah. pussy, and Republicans know it. That's why they... But well, I mean, they know, do cry about every motherfucking thing, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> bruh. Republican, yo, there were Republicans literally fucking sitting there trying to defend gun ownership when when Uvedel happened. They were sitting there justifying this shit in a very sensitive situation. And the Democrats, all they did was, you're bad people. I can't believe. And then what are we going to do? We're going to have another march for our lives. We're going to have another, we're going to have people misspelling science and they're talking about gun reform now. We're going to have the President Biden sitting his old ass on the motherfucking podium sitting there talking about, I'm going to do something about the gun system in America. And then nothing motherfucking happens. Like, they're all talking. It, they're all and, and, and bro, it's not. I'm not even talk, calling it talk anymore. It's babble. You know, courage, bro. You remember courage, the cowardly dog. Whenever he's trying to explain, something. that's all I'm hearing now. None of these niggas are gonna do anything. Bro. Things I do for love. The things I do for love, like bitch. By the way, shout out to Billy Porter for that BET red carpet. Outfit. Oh, return the slab looking at it. Return the slab. <laughs> but go ahead, Father. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying, like, we see, like, we see it right in front of us. This is reality. I always say it. This is reality. Whatever people want to show you, they're gonna show you. And there's no such thing as hiding your two, your true intentions. The truth is always gonna motherfucking come out by virtue of your actions. Your mm-hmm. unconscious mind is more powerful than your uh, than your conscious mind and your subconscious. Always remember that. So if you got some true intentions, that shit is going to show. There's nothing you can do to hide that shit. And we are seeing it in plain sight right the fuck now. I always said America is not concerned about solutions because solutions is not profitable. They're going to keep milking the same issue over and over and over and over again until this motherfucking country collapses. And then they're going to blame a scapegoat for it, too. I think a lot of it comes from points of views, really. Yeah, third world country with a Gucci belt on. It's a new age. Truth has to come out. (laughs) It's like like headlines. Headlines. Age of Aquarius is the time. It's a new start. So everything has to come out. This is the coming of the age of Aquarius. Mm-hmm. There's a song for that. Yep. <laughs> Did anybody uh, they knew. podcast an Aquarius? Say again. Is anyone on this podcast an Aquarius? Are you not Nope. No? I'm a sage. All right. I can, I can stay on this podcast. Y'all are good. Bye. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm a, I'm a, uh, Sergeant Willie Pete said this, and I felt the same way. Um, I think they're trying to make people vote emotionally, and that's the reason why I didn't like the whole Biden versus Trump thing. The way was people was going about Biden versus Trump because I feel like a lot of people instead of like trying to debate on the you know the politics. They just wanted Trump the fuck out of there. A lot of people didn't like Trump wanted Trump the fuck out of there. And most people that was for Trump, they didn't care. Trump did Trump could have did anything. They would just roll for Trump. So a lot of so a lot of people just like 
voted emotionally. I feel like besides the twerker thing, because I just thought that was kind of stupid, and that's the first time me seeing you is popping your ass on the beach. I don't know, like that. I don't want that to be the first image of you as a senator. Like I can understand people be on the beach, but you know, popping your ass and like talking about vote for me is like that's not the first thing I want to come to my mind. Is like, damn, I should vote for her, the senator. Um, as far as the other guy with the gun and the Kentucky dude with the noose, and it's just like I don't know your politics. I'm looking at these commercials, and it's just like I don't know much about your politics. It's just what about that is going to be is going to make me look up into you that either that you're pro guns and I mean, the other one was about anti lynching laws. It's just like when you really look at it, but from a face value, it's just like, are you, are you trying to, uh, what are you trying to, what are you trying to grasp? I feel like I didn't get much out of them other than one dude trying to be Malcolm X and the other dude, he was just, you know, with a, a nigga with his noose on his neck. And it's just like, what is what is the image? At least in I don't happening. know in this in this DMV area, I don't know much about Donna Edwards, but you know at least when she have her commercials in here, you know some of the stuff she's done here is like, and the people that's running for her and all that other stuff. At least here it's normal, but I'm seeing all these other commercials, and these are black people, by the way, that, which is kind of more disappointing to me. Because I, I want to know what your uh, politics is about. Not really, like, are you trying to sway me with, like, visual <laughs> currency? Like, you try, you fitting off the Klan with a fucking AR rifle, with an assault rifle. Or uh, you see a Democrat in the noose and all that other stuff, and him taking off the noose. It's like, what more is there to you besides that? That's That's the way I look at it. Uh, uh <laughs> I was he's... generally confused. I I didn't I didn't know what to think of the uh the the, the lady twerking for are you, are you twerking for votes? Is is that where we're getting to? I don't I don't know. I, I don't, it's like I, I ain't know what the fuck that was about, to be honest with you. You just I don't know, what, I don't know who she was trying to appeal to. I'm, I'm, I don't know who she's trying to appeal to, to be honest with you. Why she trying to appeal to? Cool. I don't know. You know. Oh, the only the whole thing, thing I know about, about her, is she's like and shit. That's what that is. Is she young? Uh, she's a millennial. That's all I know. Uh, so she like forty something, maybe. No, she's twenty something. She uh late twenties. Nah, I'm a, a millennial. She's. Yeah, she's millennial. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Late twenties. That's a millennial. Yeah, she. Yeah, she's 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 close to thirty. Not quite there. Maybe she is. Uh, regardless, she had no business doing what she did. Late late twenties, like early forties, baby. Twenty eight. She twenty eight. Don't matter. You the, you, that, that woman was twenty eight. That's why. I, that's why I read last. That is funny for everything. Well, Are, um, October. Mm-hmm. Are we shocked that she's twerking for votes? No, that's right. why. I was, that's why. The question is, we don't know what she did that for. Right. Like, Once you said, "Oh, she's only twenty-eight," that explained everything. That's why. That's why I asked. I asked. Hot girl, girl summer. That, <laughs> that explains everything. Y'all, y'all know me. I will ask a thousand questions before I make a comment. I just need to know the facts. She's twenty-eight. I'm not surprised. Look, this is. This, it's, it's saddening, but it's it's it, sh- it shouldn't be society, but it's starting to become it. I, I, Modern I women, it. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm just I, I'm a, I'm gonna ask this, and, and, and call me Uncle Ruckus if I ask this. If if you feel like I'm out of line, if you feel like I'm out of line, but I don't give a shit. Would you see an Asian politician doing this? I somehow doubt it. Hmm. Would you see a white politician no, doing I, I this? Think- I, I think um, I think a black woman twerking for uh, a political uh, place is like an Asian person cooking at a hibachi grill for the same thing. It's like you think she's trying to she's token, trying to appeal to her people. It's tokenism. Tokenism, ah, uh, yeah. That's what it is. 
Okay. I don't even think she's, like she's trying to appeal. She's trying to appeal to her. I, I, I thought she was trying. I felt like she, okay. like, part of me thought she was trying to appeal to black people with stereotypical shit. I mean, that's what they all do, though. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's sad? I was looking up to see if she got any like campaign commercials and all that. I don't see no campaign commercials at all. It's like I put in her name. That's all I see is people talking about her twerking. So mm. I can't like I I don't even know what your <laughs> what your stance is about anything. So. Mission failed. That's what it sounds like. Absolutely. <laughs> but to be honest, the way, to the, pole. the way that society is right now, um. All the low level fuckery out there, uh, the majority of the votes she's going to get is men and women that think feeling. So, why wouldn't she twerk? Is my exclusively, it's my um, because look at OnlyFans, they're getting paid for doing nothing but twerking. So, wouldn't that work for votes too? Because the people that vote just vote sometimes just to vote. Look at what said. You're not black if you don't vote for me. And bam, he got the vote. Mm. Mm. You don't vote for me. You're not mm. black. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, I definitely, oh. I definitely didn't even. I, I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> like, I, I, I remember it, it, I laughed at it. And then when I was done laughing, I was like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't vote for me? So you must have very LIGO then. Ha. I don't have Yo, Michael Jackson geez. was the greatest. Yo, have yeah, no mental is, cognizance that, or ability to that would choose be, for yourself. That's I'm about to say, I that said. would be that would be my response. If he said that to me, my response would be Michael Jackson is the greatest. So I, 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 don't, I don't think I would mind having a uh, Villalago, my brother. It, 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 if I could, if I could moonwalk across the stage with Real Lago and get a jerk, I'm fine. Let the rhythm get into you as your blackness just start. That's all you hear is just Michael Jackson. Don't try to fight it. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Uncle Rucker said. Uncle Rucker said, "I got the reverse of what Michael Jackson got." Lucky bastard. (laughs) 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 Material life that into the chat. What up? What up, material life? I was just listening in. Material. Thank you. Welcome back. You left us early last time. I know. I was I was in Pennsylvania in the middle of a firework frenzy for children. You have to understand me. Firework frenzy. Yeah, it was a bunch of people trying to get fireworks for half off. Speaking of, did you see that dude that was doing drive by with fireworks? He was just like shooting people and shit. Oh my god! I'm telling y'all, five years in five years from now is going to be the purge. Get your guns ready. <laughs> nah, that that nah nah. I, I don't mean that, but nah. In, in all seriousness. <laughs> That's just like very ignorant and stupid, and it's reckless and it's dangerous. And if a motherfucker would have did that shit in Southeast, his car would have got shot up. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I'm gonna just be. I'm gonna be real because as adults, as grown as motherfuckers, we don't tolerate that shit. Gr- mind you, I see I see kids run across up and down the street, across the street, shooting each other with Roman cameras. They're children. They're gonna do the stupid shit until they get shot in the face, and then everybody's gonna stop. You gotta let him. You gotta let somebody get shot in the face. It, it has to happen. But as an yeah, adult, as you gotta grown, set an example. Exactly. <laughs> as grown as people, do you think I am going to allow another grown as person to shoot fireworks at me at my house at my in my apartment building? In any it, like no. And I'm gonna slam his face into the cement. That's what I'm gonna do. Nigga, first of all, we shooting your tires, so you can't go nowhere. <laughs> Let's just start off with that. I, mean, I'm, I, I have, a, I'm, I'm already strategic with it. Like I'm shooting your tires because you're trying to drive by fast. So I'm not even trying to shoot you. I'm trying to shoot your tires. But you can't go no fucking where. So now you got to get on. Now you have to move on feet. That's when your ass was gonna happen. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure by the time y'all pull over and realize the tire's flat or the tire runs off the fucking rim and you can't go nowhere else or some shit like that. 
I'm pretty sure everybody that you shot at is going to be somewhere near that car. So, yeah. but again, exciting shit don't happen like that in DC. Nah, all the thing we got is women getting thrown in the dumpsters and shit. That's the that's about as exciting as or it gets. Kid, or or a kid gets shot going to a, a, a ghetto concert for black people. <laughs> yeah, that one was sad. Like it's like it's it's fucking stupid. Like I'm so tired. I'm so tired of the world. I'm 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 about to turn into Andre 3000 from prototype and disappear. <laughs> damn. Wow. Oh damn. Uh. Any uh any last words before we move on to our next topic? If you don't if you don't get the votes that you wanted, apparently twerking ain't working. Hashtag twerking ain't working. Mm, twerking ain't working. Yeah, twerking that, ain't that. working. Hey, that rhymes. That's a but, bar. Man, I'm hey, you, I, ain't lost lost that that that. I ain't lost Put a that step. on a t-shirt. Put that on a t-shirt. Trey I ain't lost that. a step, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Man. I like that shit. Oh man, she, um, she was trying, whole time she was trying to get black men to vote because that's why they did they get your oh, booty to the poll. Fuck off! <laughs> I saw that shit. We are not voting because they're not doing vote. shit for us. That's why we never. Bro, nah, shut the fuck up with that. It's not telling me I'm gonna vote because I don't see some ass. You know how disrespectful. I see that ass. Is. First of all, I see ass every fucking day on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Not even a good ass. <laughs> yeah. Just, just ass. Not, we're not going to body shame on this podcast, okay? Y'all, y'all talking about the uh, the synthetic pamper ass. <laughs> that, that 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 was some stiff ass twerking too. It's like I don't seem better. It's like she had bad four. But that's how you know she didn't. She 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 was doing shit out of her element. It was like I give it a three. <laughs> oh, the twerkers got give. It a three. Her publicist told her she should do it. That's what happened. But, uh, no, but because if that was the public, the, the public said, take that shit down. The in, the, in, the, in the words of the greatest comedian to ever live, I give that four thumbs down. <laughs> I wish I had more hands. <laughs> so I can get that ass four thumbs down. <laughs> okay, um... On to the next topic. Y'all heard about uh, Jalen Walker getting shot 60 times? Jesus. <laughs> Unfortunately, I watched the video. I shared I the TikTok about that. I couldn't I watch the video. That. I, I, oh, I, man. I watched I, it. I could, not, I could not watch the video. I, I Even though like I was trying to prepare for this, it's just like I could not put, bring myself into watching that video. So... Um, how do y'all how do y'all feel about what done conspired with the with uh, nothing Jayla changes Walker? but the date? How about that? Let's start off with that. Mm. Nothing changes. Can someone but the date like and time. explain exactly what happened. I didn't hear about it. It's an incident that occurred in Akron, Ohio. What what started off as a guy getting pulled over for um some form of traffic violation led to him being shot sixty times. Ninety rounds were fired total. How many people were shooting at him? Because m- most it was, this was, like, it was a squad of it was a squad of police officers. Eight, eight, eight officers. And they have been placed on administrative leave according to the department policy. Because that's all because that's all the fuck they're gonna do. What led up to that? I wish I saw it. This is history I, literally repeating itself, my Because the same shit happened. 
someone gets shot, they march, the people, the cops get put on administrative leave, there's like protest and a whole bunch of rioting, and then it happens again and repeat. Well, that literally up to happened like, huh? It was a traffic stop. There was no, a traffic I mean, stop. like, what happened in between um, the stop and him getting shot? Like, what was, what was the exchange? I, I have think, no idea what this no, is about. I, so I believe that they were trying to say that he was fleeing from the scene. And if that was the case, then that does not justify shooting six. You shot him nine. You shot him six times, man. You shot ninety bullets. Even if he was fleeing, like even if he was fleeing, like you fleeing is an excuse to track him down and arrest is not an excuse to execute. Meanwhile, you have white crackheads fucking squaring up with like five cops, and all he gets is oh, teased and arrested. I saw a dude guy. I saw a white dude that had a rifle. They didn't even shoot him. They shot the rifle out of his hand like it was a fucking western movie. Not to mention, uh, Jayla Walker, he only had like one traffic ticket violation and no criminal record. So. He was 25. And he was 25. I can't. I can't even. All right, go ahead, B. I really can't even understand or the justification of 60 shots. Right. And, like it's running away. We shouldn't have even gotten that far. Like, But if someone's running it's a, it's away, what's the justification for need, one shot you they're running away? Six, seven people worth of backup to handle a fucking traffic violation. Let's start. That that's that's the first thing. Second, I, I saw well, I, I, I saw the video too, and it's just like he did nothing that warranted him getting shot. Like like y'all previously said, they say yeah he did. Um, according to the police report, he did have a gun at, in, in in the vehicle, but never did you see him reach for a weapon, point it, point his gun at the at the police because he, he did inform them that yeah he, he was armed, but he never brandished his gun at all. So it's just like this is a pointless death. I I still can't understand the first shot. Like what what caused the first shot that led to the eighty nine afterwards. Like, black. there's nothing that's justified one shot. If someone's running away, that doesn't justify one shot. Then you run after them or you drive after them. Or something this, I don't understand why you're running after them. You're going to eventually catch them. You yeah. already have his, his identification. Like, I had saw this video a while ago. Like, the court, I guess some guy, he was at court, whatever, and he, like, bucket. And the justice why are you chasing him? She was like, why are you chasing him? Just go to his house and pick him back up. Like, <laughs> doing all this extra stuff out here shooting wildly for no reason. Like, you're going to eventually find this person. It's off of a traffic stop. I don't know why he would run away. First of all, eight people would make anybody feel paranoid and anxious and, like, unsafe. Even when two people, two police officers pull you over nowadays, this new method of two police officers having to, that still makes you uncomfortable. I don't know for white people, but for black people, it's still going to make you uncomfortable when two police officers pulling you over. Like, what do you need two people for? Cops make me uncomfortable, period. But that's just me. Yeah, yeah. I just watched it. Son, that shit was uncalled for. Okay. Um, like, yo, I didn't that was not... All those shots was not necessary, yo. It's uh, how many of y'all and one guy running away from the car? He's running away. Yo. What the fuck? Like, I understand, yo. I don't care what he did. Like, this is not... This is why I can't... Yo. Oh, my God. I'm He's glad I didn't become a cop. I used to dream of being a cop. Like I said, yo. Mm, mm, people like this would... See? They tripped me up. They jammed me up because I would have said something about these people but running while black yo he got out the car so no longer are you in danger of getting crushed by a car or anything like that so now you got to focus okay does he have a weapon all right so if he has a gun do you see something strapped to him 
Because if he has a gun, it's going to be a handgun, right? And all y'all got one, right? Right. So you empty in a clip? Not to mention the One of your boys that, got him, right? You got not to him, mention the he's fact on the floor that and y'all still took the earth to inform the cops that he had a gun on him, that he was on. Yo, the fucking grass is exploding around him, yo. For what? He's that Yo! You see? All right. Mm. Let's see where this shit goes. <laughs> I swear, I swear, yo, these people work for fucking us. Straight up. We should have a say it. That's what happens. This is murder. Well, yes. white person say when you get the top, so I pay your I pay your salary. My whole thing Protect is I wouldn't be a cop. You know why? It's just too too like I have to go into the job with the mentality that today might be my last day. Mm-hmm. And if you can't if you if you were already terrified on a daily basis going into your job, you're doing stupid stupid things like this on a daily basis because you terrified. People uncomfortable. Black people are already, already uncomfortable around y'all because y'all doing stuff that just don't make sense. But if you don't come in with like the mentality that you came here to do your job and not to be doing that funny business stuff, you shouldn't be a cop. Hmm. Because there's too many of them talking about some days scared of. Like, we more terrified. They should do a mental about evaluation. My, white people they are do it after the fact. To, create, to, like, make you terrified than black people. It's like, let's be honest. I think at this particular point, there's really nothing left to say. Like, what else is there to say, honestly? Like, I feel like it's been happening. It's, I mean, it's been hap- this has been happening for, you know what I'm saying? Black skin is literally criminal, criminalized in this country. That's why they react the way they do. You know what I'm saying? That's why we can literally point out the differences between how they treat other races versus how they treat us. When it has gotten to that point, and you can document this going back centuries, not even decades, fucking centuries, there's nothing left to say. You either are going to be part of the solution or we're just going to keep seeing it happen until, you know, the country collapses. So that's all I got to say. Ain't really nothing else to say. Well, we ain't, we ain't far from set collapse. <laughs> It's, I'm going to blame it on the media. They want they want society to be so convinced that black people are deadly. But when you look at when you look at pure facts, we should be more terrified of what a white person is capable of doing than what the black person is capable of doing. Well, history hmm. doesn't show that. That's what we're, we're like tamed animals to them, yo. I did a video about that. They look at us as fucking pets. Like, oh my God, yeah, small do. animal, right? Oh, no, and then they, you them. know, good now that we're them. pets, oh, they're just like that because of trauma from the past. So we're going to do that. But oh, when you look God. at school, so when we're wild, it's justified. But at the same time, these motherfuckers have a reason to fuck. It. Yo, this is you. Oh my God. I'm sorry for interrupting. This is just fucked up. No, that's just crazy. I didn't even. Well, I, I, you know, I barely be on social media or watching the news because at this point, I think it's mentally draining to just be with with the shit that's going on in this world. Yeah, every day we have a shootout, and it don't even be black people no more. Now this media is just full, just full of shootout, all sorts of mental health. Yeah, that's why a lot of people take breaks from like uh, social, media. social media. Yeah, just so they can get their mind together. Because some of the shit you be seeing on there, that shit really bring it out to make you serious or it really brings you down with some shit like that. Even though there are some positive things you can watch on social media, but it's a lot of shit that, you know. Social media can whoop your mind. Yeah. As we've seen with a lot of people. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm always, I've always been that type of person. I don't really blame social media for everything. I think people have autonomy and you can culture, you can curate social media to be whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be positive, it's going to be positive. If you want it to be negative, it's going to be negative. But it's going to inhabit everything that you know we are because social media is a reflection of humanity. Yeah. It's no different. It's no different than uh, you know going to like a public ass forum where everybody can speak at. Like imagine going to like a convention where everybody has a platform to speak. It's going to be just like motherfucking social media. You're gonna have your undesirables. You're gonna have your dibwits. You're gonna have your stupid people. But then again, at the same time, you're also gonna have your intelligent people. You're also gonna have your scholars. You're gonna have people who are revolutionary in thought. So. You gotta oh, get give and different. take. You know. I I agree with mm-hmm. I agree with Father. Yeah. Uh any last words before too. we move on topic. It's getting spooky out here. Uh, yeah. Speaking of spooky, um, let's talk about this uh bodega stabbing. That doesn't happen. I'm it's like uh, Jose Alba was working at a bodega in NYC when he was attacked by an irate customer, mm-hmm. and Alba stabbed him in self defense and is now being charged for murder. Um, if you ever seen that video, that video is very gruesome and brutal. Um, father, you sent me the video. Uh, what did you think about the video? What went through your head? I mean when so i read about it and i'm like holy shit but then i saw the the nigga was defending his white girlfriend or his white woman and then i completely lost interest because it's like bro first of all no my thing is like you are so fucking disrespectful listen listen to what i'm saying first of all you know what you are you know what i'm saying you know where the fuck you at second of all as a black person just as a black person, just off principle, why are you putting your life in line over someone? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at the history. I'm not even talking about the individual in this case. But if she had that much influence over you to go to a spot, a bodega, we're not just talking about any regular spot. We're talking about a motherfucking bodega. What the fuck did you think was going to happen to you? You know what I'm saying? I mean, where there's fire, there's smoke. That's all I'm saying. So if this woman had enough influence on you to do some dumb shit, because we already get on niggas that, you know, do dumb shit because a woman told them to do something or, you know, a woman get herself into some trouble because of her motherfucking mouth. And now the niggas either getting jumped or his life is being threatened. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is not a thing that should be emulated. This is not a thing that should be repeating itself. But now, hey, give me that video. The, I'm so lost. Uh, I got you, B. I got you. Yeah. So, like, I mean, and then just the simple fact that this woman is white. You know what I'm saying? Like, it rubs me the wrong way again because of the history, and I have a right to feel the way I do because look at the you know, again. Look at the history. It's, this is not something that's profound. This is not something that you have to dig for. Like black black men, a lot of black men have died simply because of white women. If a white woman cries, that was a death sentence back in the day. If a white woman, if a tear of a white, white woman Wall came Street. out of her eye, like you know what I'm saying, like bro, Emmett Till, we know what happened. Didn't it have something like, to do with Black Wall Street though? I, I don't. I think so. It was about an know. elevator, like. Yeah, yeah, somewhere, yeah, elevator, somewhere, yeah. Something like that. yeah, it's about an elevator. So, you know what I'm saying? Just like the fact that that's a thing. Like, come on, man. I don't have any type of sympathy for for him. I can't have any type of sympathy. My sympathy is for the innocent black people that are unjustifiably killed. Like we just talked about Jalen Walker. Like we, uh, you know, uh, people like Tamir Rice. You know, people like uh, uh Breonna Taylor. People like a Tatiana Jefferson, like innocent black people that literally get killed just because they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. You know what I'm saying? And now you you want me to, you know, have some type of feeling because you were defending. First of all, it was over chips. It was you lost your life over chips because you fucked with the wrong one. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, if, bro, if, if that was the case, I would have just left and went to another place. I don't know why people not just to mention, can't leave. Not to mention the fact that a motherfucker was using, trying to use your EBT card to buy a single bag of goddamn shit. You ain't got a dollar in your motherfucking pocket. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about that because people's circumstances is different. I will never be the type of person to call somebody out for using an EBT card or like, you know, like this is a fucking harsh ass world. So I'm not going to partake in further denigrating somebody because they're using an EBT card to buy some motherfucking chips. I don't give a fuck about any of that shit. But it's a bag of you chips. You decided, yeah, yes, a, yeah, it's a bag of chips. But at the same time, you motherfucking decided to overstep your lane and now you're dead because of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh. It's just like the dude who got killed. Uh I think it, it was over in it was in it was in Cali. The dude who was at his uh he was in his backyard and he got shot or oh, multiple times. But then it, it then uh they found out that him and his Asian girlfriend were saying some foul stuff about black women. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like that type of feeling. It's just like Bro, you knew what you like. I'm I'm not even, I'm not even gonna say you knew what you was doing, but bro, use some motherfucking discretion because you could lose your life out here. This is America. This is bro. You know how many people die for no reason over here in America? You go over there looking for some motherfucking trouble because of an EBT card. Hey, I don't like, and you know, I'm I'm the type of person like I observe things before I speak. You know, I look at things before I speak. And in this particular instance, I mean, there's nothing more There's nothing more to say. All I can say is be careful. You know what I'm saying? And it's okay to walk away. It is literally okay to walk away. You don't have to do all that rah-rah, I'm hard. I'm the hardest nigga in the room shit. Like, that shit's played out. I care about my life. I don't, I'm not going to lose my character. I'm not going to lose my life just to prove a point. I will literally fucking walk away. You can have that. Because at the very end of the day, I just want to go home, smoke my weed, play my video games, and go to sleep. I'm not dying over no motherfucking white woman. You fucking kidding me. What was the reason he defended her again? Because her EBT card wasn't being taken over at the bodega for some motherfucking chips. And uh it, it was us and then it was said that the dude, the cashier or whatever, the dude who was working there, like snatched it from her hand or whatever. So I guess that's what set him off. But at the same time, again, you know where you at. So like that when when they get frustrated with you taking so long and holding up the line sometimes. Like you know that. Watching the video, I, I is, there's definitely no self defense. It was not exactly material. It was no reason for it. What was the reason? I feel like Cardi B. It was. <laughs> For him like a what was that reason? So, so you know what happened, right? He was a little bit egotistical because you got a bitch paying for food for you with an EBT card. So you wanted to feel like a man because you got a baby. And because of that, you decided, oh, I'm going to show her how much of a New York nigga I am. And you stabbed the motherfucker. If you ask me, I'm kind of happy that this took place. With that type of woman and with that type of guy, they deserve each other. And at the end of the day, if they press charges on him, that's one nigga off the street. We don't need niggas in our clan. We need men. No, I think he died. He, he did they the him one with murder. Or the one that stabbed. Yeah, the one that stabbed, I had him rewind it 20 times just to see exactly, you know, where could the self defense part happen at? He was trying to get out. I'll give him that. He was trying to leave and do he grab this have been arm. back there in the first place. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. He should have been back there in the first place. He should have been back there in the first place. This is. It's one of those he play stupid games where stupid prizes. Yeah, you, you want to know what it is? He fucked around and he found out. Yes. Uh, That's facts. Uh, because I just I can't I can't feel I, I don't have any sympathy for these people anymore. They're they're annoying. Mm -hmm. And why is it always at a damn bodega? I like bodegas. Again, you know where you at, bro. <laughs> 
you know what I'm saying? You know what you're you supposed want. to put on your jewelry when you go to a bodega. <laughs> the cat don't bother nobody. You know the bread. But why is the cat on the bread? It's, it's a whole lot of things we could ask questions. Like, does he own this bodega, or he just worked there? Probably just worked there. Because this nigga lost his life to a bag of chips, though. Yeah, how did Homeboy get back there so easy? Like. So easily, like I've, I don't. Probably, it's probably like a path. It's probably just like a path that goes back there and some shit like that. Does it look like? Because it looked like it had like a bulletproof glass. Mm-hmm. So I know it had to be a path back there to go. And the fact that dude was even back there, that was already. And did he call the police on them? Like. No. No, he literally just went over there. He ain't even had time. Because when his homeboy pushed him and was giving him all this conversation and conversation, I don't know, after a while he was getting flustered. Because he was talking back and forth to him and homegirl, him and homegirl, him and homegirl. And she's standing over there. He getting stabbed. She not running over to the other side. Like, I could still see her hands hanging. Like, she didn't even help you. The first time I saw blood, I said, ooh. And then he got him in the neck. I said, ooh, that'll do it. Oh, in the neck? Nah. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's off in the stomach. He got him in, he <laughs> he stabbed him in the neck. He was going for the side. He was neck, going too. for the side, but when Homeboy ducked down, he got him, He moved it up top and got to the neck. Then Homeboy tried to push him back and like grab his arms. And next, that was it. It was several more. Because at this point, the drilling's rushing, so ain't no stopping. Now I wonder what type of chips he was fighting them over for. It better not be no ladies playing. Shut up. <laughs> like, you know, died over It them. better not be no gold rush pretzels. I tell you that much. You know what? It's probably New York. It's probably wise chips. It's probably- hey, man, it's <laughs> wise chips, bro. Everybody needs to be hurt. That's just... <laughs> The wise chips. Like, better be the sour cream and onion wise chips. You lost your whole life for 25 cents. Nah, nah, if he would have lost his life for some <laughs> rapid snacks with a little rum on it, I'm laughing at him. Where's the, where's the last time you've seen a bag of chips for 25 cents? <laughs> is, they do. Bags of chips for 25 cents still. Them little baby bags. Said gas uh, I don't, you got to do that. I don't at the gas right. station. Right. Yeah, I want. Yeah, I Photos. promise you, if I go to any gas station right now, them no cheap for 25 cents. Photos or it didn't it happen. Okay. It has to be 25 cents. Nah. That's yeah. like the local store, right? The, bo- the boozy rapper step badge is at least 50 cents. So. <laughs> I want to see this too. And this was, in, like, this was in New York, so it might be fifty cent. But, you know, New York is less expensive. Shit. Shit. You see, I can't even imagine living life in prison. <laughs> well, I would have told him take the whole store. Take the nah, whole store. Take the whole. I watch. Huh? I watch Scared Straight. I'm good. After watching Scared Straight, I'm good. <laughs> Like you, she came back over here for some bag of chips she couldn't pay off of, off food stamp. Like sis, t- take two bags, take you and your man out. Like it is a question. Why pay, did you pay for the bag of chips? If he right, that's what I'm so about hard to say. like that. Cause he is. Wow, I just. I don't if he had it, he would have been this mad about not getting it. He ain't had it. And he thought homegirl had it to find out sis ain't got no money on her card no more. So he was pissed. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga probably had sorry, munchies Sorry, but not sorry. I don't know. I don't want to talk about this shit no more. Because the more we talk about it, everything about it just seems stupid. I, I don't want to talk about this shit no more. <laughs> you know what's that? This is why I was cheering on the deaths. Like she needed to die too. 
end the fucking story. Like, bitch, you nigga that you can't even defend. You need to die. Like, you going so hardcore and shit like that. Just go along with him. We don't need people like that. I may sound like a bitch, but so be it. I'm tired of stupid ass motherfuckers. God bless you, Crystal. Hey, yo, Crystal on elephant. I'm helping the bitch out and then coming to the funeral and stuff her out again. That's it. Elephant, <laughs> yes, the fuck I will. <laughs> that's that sounds like something I recently watched on on I think social media. It was this girl saying that uh, most of the people that are in prison was set up by a female. Like y'all girls need to take accountability for a lot of these dudes in prison because you don't have beef with somebody on the street. You don't told your brother or your cousin, and now they wouldn't have beef with this person, and now boom, they in prison. It, I was like, but you just said exactly, home girl. Had had some minor issues outside. Okay. Instead of you know just catching her L, she could have she could have even picked up pennies off the floor to get but, them little chips. You know what material? You still gotta ask. The guy picked the girls that snitched on them, so I don't even exactly. feel exactly. Yes, exactly. They stupid. We don't need those type of niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like like my thing. My like my thing is this. Like my thing is this. If I truly fucking care about myself, it's gonna reflect on the woman that I pick. Mm-hmm. It's gonna reflect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna contradict my morals based on who I'm fucking just because she looks good or whatever. I want somebody who's gonna reflect my values. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause mm-hmm. when I'm out of the room, she's gonna reflect me. So these dudes sitting there picking these girls that don't fucking respect them and don't even have the decency to represent themselves and conduct themselves in a way that brings honor to the people that they're dating. Miss me with all of that bull, with all that bullshit. Miss me with that. First of all, dude needing her stamps was a red flag. If you, if, if I'm with a dude and he ain't got enough money to feed me, also, like that's already a problem. It's a so bag of chips. He 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 got the worst. She got the worst batch of the of the chips, and he got the worst batch because they both they both ain't got nothing to their name. So he went proud. He proud to have said he got him a little white girl, but hmm, it's just broke. I always said if I ever became single again, the next woman I get was gonna be an old white woman with some money. What are you, Frederick Douglass? I'm saying, what the fuck? <laughs> nah, man, I still gotta eat. No, nah, it, no, it, it's just I, I, I ain't got time for certain shit no more. I still I'm gotta looking eat. at you with the Uma I face. Eat. I just want you to know. I don't give a shit. If I ever became single again, the next woman I date is gonna be an old white woman with some money. All right, you better. You, you won't be like that one black dude that got like two white wives and he don't work a day in his life. I <laughs> see that motherfucker. That shit was. That shit still makes me laugh. I'm sorry. Well, Dion, if that's the fucking case, are we in- invited to the fucking pool party? Because what the fuck? Pull no, Crystal. At the mansion, you said rich, right? Right. All right. I don't know if I want to go because she makes yeah, some bullshit ass mashed potatoes. You gonna hear from me, Dion? Yeah, you hey, gotta bro. eat the bro. You gotta eat. The I don't want to be the one doing the fucking. We good. Hey, I, I, I'm gonna tell I, you. I, I don't want to be the one making your, The moment your old white woman t- say no splashing at the pool, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, really? She, I'm she sorry, gonna be in the house asleep. She's not about to ruin the pool. No splashing. Thank you. I, 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 I'm not, going. not like she could have asked her here anyway. We good. No, I, I'm no, sorry. You know, you know, y'all can have all the blasting y'all want. I just, I'm not going because last thing I need is for police to pull up on me. It's a whole situation. No, I'm good. You know why I'm at the house of an old white woman. <laughs> and there's too many of niggas that are showing up. It's just going to be too much. <laughs> I think y'all are worried about the wrong things here. But like, we're, like, like, we're, we're worried about, about the wrong things. things. So we're worried about the right things. I don't want to be Call me your when you need the flashlight. When you need my camera flash for the get out situation, just call me. I got you. Yeah, bro. I don't want to be leaving your neighborhood and be afraid to get shot 50 times, bro. Yeah. 
And you know what? Q so late. You know back. what? Him just walking away from the murder scene slowly. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm what, Dion? Yo, yo, Dion, I'm gonna be real with you. You should have yeah. just kept. You should have just kept that in the drafts, bro. No, nah, fuck that. No, no, no. Nah, no. fuck it. No. it. It's already out there. I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> no. You should give a fuck. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come to your house like Uncle Jerome and Snowfall. Where the titties and the bitches? <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. I'm not coming to your house. I'll meet you at the corner, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. They might go. Right. Wait, wait. I have one more question. I just have one more question because I'm genuinely curious. So, if she asks you what you bring to the table, what would be your answer? <laughs> Do I need to? BD. I'm keeping your own. I'm, I'm keeping your own ass company. The fuck? I, I don't. I, that's that. Ray, Ray, do you hear him? Do you hear him, Ray? That doesn't sound too persuasive, my guy. I would like to pick a letter. Can I? Can I have a vowel or? Can I? Go ahead. Your response is going to be. So I'm here I pick to a D. The letter. <laughs> As in dog. As in dog. I dog. love your accent. Oh my god. You know she be at a bodega. <laughs> Shut up, Q. <laughs> go sit in the corner. For that, go sit in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> For that, go sit in the fucking corner. I'm sitting in the corner of the couch, so does that count? Yeah. Q, I didn't even know I needed you know to what? hear that, but that uh when you said that I wasn't Crystal's giving very much up north vibe when she said that. Yes, you are. Yeah, if some weird get out shit happens while we are at that match, I am the first one leaving. I just want to. Nah, I'm going to be like Atheon Crawford off of uh, Haunted House. <laughs> Reveal yourself. <laughs> oh, shit. And I'm, giving, and, I, and, and, and I'm giving you the look of Africa. Dion, could you really, really do it? You know, it sounds good, Dude. but when you have to like, stare at them and look at it, <laughs> really. You have to share a bed with that shit. Mm. It, you even if you don't have to sleep in the that. same bed, it's People the wake like up in the morning and everything falling down. Everyone looked like Dave oh. Chappelle when he was married to Oprah. I got a vision. <laughs> <laughs> he could be in there with a robe and a crown with glass shades on. But yo, do y'all see that TikTok couple though? With the black man and the um the old lady. <laughs> I think Wait. I know what you're talking about. I don't know their names because I didn't care. I was just too flabbergasted seeing that. The woman looked like Tales from the Crypt, and the guy looks like he needs to go back to high school. So I I don't know. I th I think I know what you're talking about. I just don't know the names. But it's just like a real old woman, a real young mm -hmm. dude, right? It's just she's like a walking skeleton with skin. Oh yeah, she's very skin. I think everybody's saying he was col uh, she collected Social Security checks. You're gonna die in seven days. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's real out here. I do not understand. Hold up, Dion. Which oh, one is your favorite yeah. Golden Girl? As long as you passing Bob, a few bucks. Why would you ask him that? <laughs> I mean, we go on this topic. I just want to know what type of what type of white old white woman he's going at. He like the mom. Who's he like the favorite? mom is going to say the disrespectful shit. Who's your favorite Golden Girl? That's actually a good question. It's the, <laughs> the, the mother. Just watch the show and just laugh. It's the short white lady with the glasses. It's the mother. Dion, <laughs> how close to death do they need to be? Young. Oh my god. Um, close enough to where close enough to where I don't have to deal with them too long, but far enough to where they can still get me on the wheel. Does a breast milk have to taste like Prohibition beer? <laughs> You, you did this to yourself, so you deserve all these fucking head-ass questions we asking you. 
not I'm not. It's it's some jokes. I'm not tripping. I can't. But, I'm not prepared for this, bro. <laughs> First of all, she's too old to be producing breast milk. That's nasty. I also got a couple questions, dude. I'm pretty sure it's not breast milk no more. It's like cheese. It's like old and turtle. <laughs> So it's like breast cheese. Sour cream? Hey, what do you, what Sour you cream? For, what are you doing? Sour for cream. Date? That's disgusting. That's even more nasty. <laughs> All right, so Dion, what would you what would you do? Yeah. yeah, what would you do if you had to fight her ex? Do you sweep the cane? That's is, all that, is that nigga alive? You might gotta dig him up to start a fight. Mm. Oh, her grandkids would be your age. Yeah, what if her oh, grandkids don't like that shit? Yo, like beat you, bro. What they gonna do? <laughs> I don't know, Dion. They got they money. Gonna they gonna Brock Lesnar the shit out you, Dion. Yeah, bro. I was about to say, what if, what if her son is like Brock Lesnar and all of a sudden he keeps him... <laughs> Dion all of a sudden that. think he Eddie Guerrero and try to fight him. I'm not... <laughs> I'm gonna tell that motherfucker, you touch me, you're gonna lose your hair in it. She must have had Fuck one she must have had one kid. And they ain't got no grandkids yet. Let's hope. You have to be one though. It's like a bad porno. <laughs> <laughs> ew, that's ew. Come on, man. I'm trying to avoid <laughs> it. Any guys, any guys first before we move forward to our final thoughts. Hair line on your man's wife. No, I just want to make sure that I'm invited. That's that's it. Because I'm my ass can be sleeping. Invited to what? The funeral? Nursery home. <laughs> you gonna be invited to the wake? The fuck? Shut up. <laughs> Shoot. The... You know what? You know what, Crystal? <laughs> if you if you end up going over there, I I beg you, please bring your own food because I don't trust you, bro. His wedding vows are gonna start with. I got you. His wedding vows are going to start with "Here lies my wife." No. It's- <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, D- hey yo, Dion, Dion, when you when you make love, do you put on R and B music or Sixteen Candles? Shut the fuck, Shut the fuck up, up Ray. Shut the fuck up. Sixteen Candles. Bro. Respirator. Bro. All right, wait, wait, Dion. What if she gave birth to a hand? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God! You ain't shit for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, only other, okay, all the others was funny. That one, you ain't shit for that. <laughs> Wait, you sick? Oh, oh man, even oh, 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 shit, that was hilarious. That damn hand grew up. Oh my! <laughs> it did grow up. You're right. They had a reunion. And then all you hear was Michael Cole in the back just, just busting out like Oh my god. Oh, nah, that, 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 that has got there was not, there's I'm nothing else you can do except laugh. And you know what was the funniest part? Mark Henry said, that can't be my baby. That was a white hand. <laughs> <laughs> Reconsider. Read some literature on the subject. <laughs> okay. We're going to get to our final thoughts, and we're going to start with Dion's nasty ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he better hurry up before his wife die. Oh, shit. <laughs> I repeat my previous say from earlier. I don't hit this ghetto, and I hate it here. <laughs> All right. Cue the reach God is on you. Uh... Oh, um... Ooh, uh, shout out to black women because uh, the Raiders just signed the first black woman as a uh, president of operations. So, yeah, shout out to y'all. Y'all winning, of course. You know, and um, I also feel like women shouldn't uh, celebrate um, Independence Day, in my opinion. So they should have been riding the boat with the black people. You know what I'm saying? But that's, you know, that's that's no never mind. That's neither here nor there. And um, uh, yeah, we got cheated. We got cheated. We got cheated. I ain't never get to say that to, to, to you, Ray. We got cheated. We were supposed to win, but it's okay. We'll be back next year. It was Steph Curry. Bro, bro when, y'all is... went, when Steph Curry went 0 for 9, y'all didn't beat them, I knew it was over. 
that that hey, I gave him the name Baby Jesus like some years ago, almost ten years ago, right? Yeah. The, I gave him the name Baby yeah. Jesus. I told you he he can't do no wrong, and I swear to God, mm-hmm. I was just it was a bittersweet moment for me. Hey man, y'all got that far though. I'm happy for y'all. Y'all got that far. Oh, we're gonna go back because we got Malcolm Brogdon. So it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> y'all got Malcolm Brogdon? Yeah, we got Malcolm. Oh, that's Brogdon. good. Y'all can put him at the point there. Yeah, exactly. And we are good. Cause I'm sick of Marcus Smart, man. I love him to death. Defensive player of the year. But then they it is is not a point guard. Okay. <laughs> while we on this while we on this topic right now, do you think Kevin Durant should leave Brooklyn? Yes. Get the I fuck. think he should stay. I think he should stay his ass there and clean up the mess he made. He didn't I make said, that mess. He did make that mess. He didn't make the mess. He was just the older brother that didn't say nothing to the kid when he made the mess. <laughs> so who really made the, the mess? The little Kyrie. brother, Kyrie. Kyrie really Kyrie. made the mess, but Kyrie, but but Kevin Durant was like, you know what? I don't even got the energy to even go back and forth with him. I'm gonna let his mother cuss his ass out. That's what he did. Oh shit. <laughs> And that's why Stephen A. Smith be cursing him out. Cursing him the fuck out. You supposed to Ben do something, Kevin Durant. You the you the big brother. You the man. But I I feel like I I, I honestly feel like um Kyrie with Ben Simmons and another superstar would actually be a good team. Mm. I, mean, I honestly think Kyrie with Ben Simmons they complement each other. I gotta see it. I, it's a, I, I gotta, ben I gotta Simmons is a left-handed LeBron James, if you think about it. He just don't shoot. I don't know why. He just won't shoot the ball <laughs> for some reason. But everything else, I, he's like LeBron. He's 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 a prototypical LeBron guy. He's just left-handed. Other than that, I, right? I, I just gotta see it. I just gotta see it. I, okay, I agree. I, okay, I agree. I agree. It depends on what kind of right. Right. Did y'all see that um shade that I guess the owner of the Lakers or whatever the female is that did that she put on LeBron saying like you know technically calling him trash he ain't better than Kobe. Oh no, I, I didn't. She didn't. She didn't say nothing about LeBron. She's like she misses Kobe, and everybody was like, oh, she thinks Kobe better than LeBron. I just think she just missed Kobe. No, everybody she, misses Kobe. I miss Kobe. I didn't I didn't even know. Because so that, that's just the internet um, twisting her words and basically. I miss Kobe. I didn't even know him. No, because she said she was like, well, if you focus more on the game, like, you know, she was com- instead of like, you know, the things that's going on, then you would probably be more focused on because let's be honest, LeBron doesn't focus on the game solely no more. And now he's like political major. He's an advocate. He's in all the sauce now. It's around that time. That's what he went to L.A. for. I mean, he's been in the league for like 20 mm-hmm. years and. Lord, I'm defending LeBron. Lord, I'm defending. He's been yeah. in the That's how you know he's been here long. They too long. He been so too long. much from LeBron. Like they really expected him to turn the Lakers around. They was expecting him to like, and then he had this these power teams. So they was expecting a lot and didn't get it. So even though she didn't say it out loud, but you know what she was. We all know what she was trying to say. Kobe is better mm-hmm. than LeBron. It's okay. Just. It's your opinion. I'm pretty I, sure I, everybody in LA would say, "Yeah, Kobe is better than LeBron." I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't think LeBron like tripping off of that. He got he got a ring out of there, so he's like it's good enough for him. LeBron is fine. He's he's solidified himself into the goat conversation. We truly don't know who the goat is. We could just we just have the conversation generally, but it's not it, it, the the conversation doesn't go outside of like five people. It's, it's five consistent people that are in this GOAT conversation. LeBron just is the new uh, ad. ad he's, he's the new person to be put on that list. All right. So all right. Nobody really we, – we can never really pinpoint who's the greatest of all time. Who's the best of all time? I go by my eye test. My eye test is if I want to be technical, Jordan is the greatest of all time. But if I wanted to put my money on anybody against Jordan, it would be Kobe. That's just me personally. I'm going to put my money on Kobe versus Joy. I guess it depends on the era. Um, Kobe was a psycho. It was, it was just weird. Kobe, Kobe, <laughs> Kobe cared about shit that Jordan didn't care about. 
Jordan was just. Oh no, natural. Jordan cared about whipping your ass. Yeah, Jordan you know, just, busting your Jordan ass and was, giving you sixty. Jordan, Jordan was basic. Okay, this is how I explain Kobe and Jordan. Jordan was, would you say he was fifty percent skill, fifty percent athleticism. Jordan was very athletic. He could jump out the gym. He could sit in the sky forever. And his skill came as, as age came, as as he became uh, more low to the ground. He, he became more skillful. Um, Kobe picked up on that straight out the gate. So Kobe wasn't as athletic as Jordan, but he was more skilled than Jordan. So, like, nobody can jump like Jordan, but. I mean, Jordan wasn't the great. It, it, he wasn't the greatest jump shot shooter. So, hey. <laughs> All right, uh, is that your final thought, Q? Yeah, I'm done. All right, material life is on you. Um, we just in a ghetto period right now. Both parties, all parties. I don't even know if I should say both parties. All parties, every single one of them. Then they methods is working. The, the media is all spewing lies. Nobody's fact checking now. You can just put out opinions. It's just giving ghetto. And don't don't even get me started on the federal government. They try to they out of everything. They like they that? don't want their hands on to anything. Somebody's echoing. Well, somebody was that going. Oh, yeah. uh, that's your final thought to tell you. Was I echoing? Uh, there's some squeaking going on in the background, too. I don't know. It sounds like a basketball game in the background. <laughs> I had somebody oh. moving furniture around or some shit. Oh, that's not. I ain't moving no furniture. Yep, that's my final thought. That's it. All right, D Wolf is on you. Uh, do y'all remember the movie uh, Demolition Man? Yes, never seen it. I heard love it. it. One of my favorite it. movies. Okay. Yes. Uh, do you remember the name of the restaurant that took over all the restaurants? The the fast food restaurant that took over everything. Taco Bell. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Yeah. Do you remember yeah, talking about? I remember that movie. Okay. What's what's this about? <laughs> I know because this hit me kind of hard. Because okay, has anybody heard of the Mandela effect? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I've been following that for a long time, yo. And this one was recent because somebody made a video about how what happened in that movie parallels to where basically society is moving. And things even to today where, like, you can't even say shit without getting in trouble. So you remember when he was cursing and the thing would print out uh, tickets for him? So that's why I was watching a movie. I mean, watching that video. And then there was this, he, the dude was talking about a movie and he said, and he said a different restaurant than Taco Bell. I thought, I no, no, not thought, I knew. It was Taco Bell. I remember talking to friends about the movie, talking to whoever didn't see the movie. That yo, son, yo, how did Taco Bell take over everything? That still never made sense to me. I remember having this conversation, yo. And then when the guy in the video was talking about it, he said Pizza Hut. And I'm like, hold up, he's he must be mistaken, right? Because I know both, you know, they're Pepsi companies and they sometimes merge in one store. You know, that happens. So maybe he's mistaken. Then you look it up and you see it's fucking Pizza Hut. And I'm like, hold up, nah. I know for a fact it was fucking Taco Bell. I remember seeing the logo in that fucking movie. And now you go back, everything's the same except for that. (laughs) So I don't know. So whoever saw it, somebody said, who said Taco Bell? I said Taco Bell. So yo, you're sure, right? I know okay. it was Guns some ahead, you fast food Taco Bell, right? I, I'm thinking it was Taco Bell, right? Son, I am sure. I am not playing, yo. I know this. Because I think of that movie every time I, I see talk, a Taco Bell commercial. Son, something's... I, I, all right, sorry. And the whole thing with CERN recently has me questioning shit. So, because, you know, if anybody's into the 
probably heard of yeah it was talk about I'm into it and everybody everything points to cern so and they did something this week and i'm like it just so happened to be the week i noticed this but then i saw a video where somebody else noticed it before but at the same time they're d- working on something that, isn't it funny that i see at the same time <laughs> that happens so i just wanted to know if anybody experienced that if they if they saw it and they saw if they remembered Taco Bell being the restaurant that just completely took over every like food chain restaurant in the movie. It was Taco Bell. Matter of fact, they had promotions about it for Demolition Man. Right? You remember? Pizza Hut did. Yeah. Now it's Pizza Hut. Yeah. It's crazy. I am not cr- Yo, I know what I remember, son. This ain't a- <laughs> there are plenty of things. I could throw one out, a random one out. Um, what color is a beaver's teeth? Like, do y'all know? If you remember, probably not. It's off memory. If you remember the a beaver's teeth look like. Nah, I don't. I'll say like like a like a tan or like dirty white or something like off white. That's where I would go, right? That's where I would go. Then if you look it up, I'm not saying anything. Y'all can do this later. You look it up and you're like, what the fuck is this? Right then, I find out like giraffes are <laughs> omnivores, and like they eat meat. What? Since when? So all uh, they eat? No, they're um they they're scavengers, and I'm like, since when? I thought they only ate. That's why they're long. So yeah, it's a whole bunch of shit. But that one just caught me this week, and I just wanted to know if I was going crazy. <laughs> but yeah, that's my final thought. All right, Crystal was on you. Hola. So I just wanted to talk about a certain thing. I I think I talk about this every week, but accountability is big in people's life. It's basically the definition alone is the obligation to explain, justify, and take responsibility for one's action. But it seems like the people that I meet on media and the people that sometimes are even in my life, do not take accountability for their actions or their choices. They try to put the blame on other people. Like for instance, Macy Gray was accused of transphobia after stating things that deal with biology. Basically she's accused for saying that surgery does not make you a woman. She is currently correct forever because of something called biology, something called genetics. So, you know, I did write in response to this. I said, people train for specific things like the Olympics. Do you think if I just wear an Olympic medal, I earned it without putting in the training? No, I didn't. As weird as my philosophy philosophy may sound, you can capture the essence of a woman, but you can never become her. She was born into her womanhood and was trained with portals between her legs. Her body was not oh. on surgery tables, but by something that the human mind has yet to interpret to this day. But it's not of this realm. Stop calling people transphobic when speaking facts that includes biology and genetics. It's pathetic. I am respectful of pronouns in a gender fuckery era, but I will always get disrespectful when it comes to things such as this. It is an insult to human nature, period. And I feel the same way when little girls want to come at me in my inbox to try to justify them being a whore. Like, I have nothing, and I do mean nothing but respect for people. But if you want to try to take my crown, you're going to be beheaded before you could even say, duh. So let's not fucking do this. Act right or just get the fuck out of my way because I do have my sword. There are so many. Well, first of all, damn. I'm so, rewinding that shit. As soon as you drop this episode, yeah, I'm going straight to this motherfucking final thought. <laughs> also, Pierce Morgan set the uh, set up Macy Gray badly. I don't care what anybody say. They weren't even talking Bro. about that. He's a Pierce problem. Morgan just brought it up. Mm-hmm. Fuck Pierce Morgan. He's a problem. <laughs> but, you know, they totally ignore the the um, transgenders that actually embrace them cells being diagnosed with gender dysphoria they understand that and they're like they embrace it and they still go forth with it 
They totally ignore them and act like saying that is an insult. No, it's a real thing. It was diagnosed. This is a years old thing. They embraced it, you know, but they never talk about it because the uninformed ones, the indoctrinated ones who so happen to have the same uh, the same uh, what issue or medical or gender dysphoria. They're not educated on that, you know, so all they have is what the media puts out. You know, bigotry and all this shit. Like, no. And then they turn on each other and shit like that. This is supposed to be a community, right? And you understand the ones that aren't aw- awakened to this and don't, you know, because a lot of the ones that understand this, understand that um, this is an issue they have, but they embrace it. And I have full respect for them. They feel who they feel they are. They want to name themselves what they are. Go for it, yo. I'm, a, I'm about, yo, freedom of, yo, express yourself how the, how the fuck you were born to do what you want to do you know but making it a problem to uh, to say it or talk about it in a medical or um scientific terms is a weapon against y'all what are you talking about you know it's it's simple like we know this and it's been happening for years they understood they had this and you know let's focus on the bigger the real bigotry that's happening to them and not just describing it everybody's an enemy and with that, whatever fuckery the dark ones want to do, like indoctrinate, like, you know, when they show up in libraries and shit, twerking for kids, bring them on stage, put their money in and shit and shit like that, they, that they, this gives them the chance to do it by making something as simple as a, as a medical, uh, what do you call it, um, diagnosis, an insult. It's crazy. Why is it an insult? Did you talk to the people who's been through it before you decided to do this? Did you have that? Or are you talking to people who are already indoctrinated with the bullshit in the media? I'm sorry, y'all. It's not even my turn to talk. I'm done. My bad. <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> already spoke. It's good. Uh, is that your final thought, Crystal? Yeah, that's it. All right, father is on you. <sighs> Yo. And I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I think it's time for me to, you know, I'm getting older. I turn 28 next month. I mean, yeah, it may be time for me to, you know, have a woman. I think it's time, yo. I think I've I've, I've been in the bench for too long, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, you well, put, put him in the game, coach? Bro, I, I, game. I, got, I might have to go back to the game, coach. Put me in the game, coach. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, but my only fear is this. I'm too much of a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm scared that they might get too attached. But at the same time, like, because I have no issue with, like, breakups or none of that. Like, I can detach just fine. Like, I've done it before. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ray, you were even there for that. So, you know I can do it. Yeah. Like, at the same time, though, it's like, bro, I'm getting older and I'm not like I'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all. Like, nigga, my hormones are too strong. Like, fuck, it's, it's fucking me up. It's starting to fuck me up. Cause, like, you know, sometimes, like, I be cool, I have my days, but there's some days I be like, like, I'm, it is, it feel like the ancestors is screaming for me to have a motherfucking child. Just like, bro, go bury, go, go bury yourself in some pussy, like, type shit. And I'm over here and I'm like, yo, chill. You know, I, I still got shit I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to focus on, you know, building things and, you know, uh, making more income and shit like that. But, bro, it's getting strong. So, I mean, like, I'm cool. You know, I'm okay and everything. It's not anything that I can't handle. But, yeah, it's it might be time, yo. <laughs> so, that's your final thought? Yeah, that's my final thought. Okay. Um, This is going to sound weird, but I'm going to just say it out straight. So, to any woman that's tried to sell their pussy on Facebook dating, do me a favor and don't do it. Especially if you are bad at selling your pussy <laughs> to random niggas on Facebook dating. <laughs> and if you're wondering, yes, 
someone tried to sell me sex through oh. Facebook dating. And it's probably the worst pussy marketing I have ever heard someone sell it to. Okay, uh, receipts, Ray. Everybody's desperate. Jesus. <laughs> I don't look. I, I'm. Oh, I'm just, gonna just say, thoughts, yo. <laughs> Sorry. I, I'm just. I'm just saying. Like, but I've been. I've you know. I've been like offered and I've turned it down a lot. But at least they've had good reasons and good persuasive skills to at least sell you the pussy. Like this one was probably the worst. Where she's just like, so what's up? And I'm like, what is up? It's like, what do you want to do? It's like, why do you sound like the vultures from fucking Jungle Book? Wow. I, I don't know. What do you want to do? It's like, what up? It's like, is this how you market yourself? It's just because like, I could just put you in the chicken soup and not even have sex and just put you on the straw. It's just, I don't know what the fuck you want. There's so many, you know, I, I I understand like people be down bad and all the other stuff, but ladies, I don't want you to prostitute yourself. But if you're gonna do, at least make it sound like it's the best pussy on earth, because some of y'all do not have marketing skills. <laughs> Ray, a lot of y'all one year <laughs> sex stories. I swear to God. <laughs> That's a that's a very down well it depends on the person. For me, I gotta be extremely down bad. Like I mean extremely. Like I can't even and I might have to be on drugs too at the same time. Like it didn't even sound appealing. It's just like it's like what make what is gonna make me want you or want the push? It's just like it's whatever. It's like no, I don't know whatever is in there. It's like it could be anything. In it. <laughs> it sounds like Wonder Bread. <laughs> it's like it's like you're supposed to be selling me Fruit Loops, but it's the fucking cereal you get at the bottom of the grocery store. It's like I don't want that. Hey, so oh, all you she got said, uh, <laughs> now instead of Fruit Loops, you got. Fred. I think the recording stopped, Ray. It did. It did. It did. Uh, yeah. There's a Facebook. Uh, there's a Facebook dating thing. You know, you get to some people, but like Snapchat is usually where people go and sell their pussy and all that other stuff. At least they have menu prices for whatever the fuck oh. they're trying to sell. So I have a question. Oh. What did she? What did she say exactly? That's so what's up? What was her? <laughs> that was it. Yeah. So what's that up? Is the worst. <laughs> The worst. So how, much make, how much she was charging? She didn't even charge. Yo. She said, whatever, she said, whatever your price, I'm trying to get a hotel room. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I am dead ass. Was hey, that sounds like a setup, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It does sound that way. <laughs> but but Wait, um, all she had to say was, hey, what's up? And she was going to get a hotel room. That's her, that's her, that's her money game. I don't I know. I don't know. I'm like, convinced. I don't know you. Who's still pussy on the phone? Can I? Can I? Um, ask can I, whatever question you want, Crystal. Because <laughs> I'm I'm a little petty. I'm in petty mode. I'm in savage mode for the rest of the fucking month. But um, so say if it's a bitch that contacted you, being you know, just a little girl as usual. Can you post her as the person that's trying to sell pussy and it not be tracked it back to you? Like, can I put her picture out there on Facebook dating scene and then make it look like she's trying to sell pussy? Oh, you mean catfish? Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure people have done that. No, because I'm a not... of bitches that I don't like right now, and I want to make it seem like they're the one selling pussy right now. Oh, you out for revenge? You were sad. <laughs> no, I got the pic, so I just want to put it out there. So Look, this is what you do, and I don't know why am I supporting this. Please do. Fake... inbox me. And material, you're not out of this either. You're you're <laughs> an accomplice. 
No, I'm convinced <laughs> I'm I'm really doing it wrong. Cause if all you gotta say is hey, you ain't gotta meet nobody. They sending my money for real. B, I, I didn't might, want it. I did know, not want somebody, it. Somebody, somebody is wanting it. Cause this is sending these applications out left and right off right. of hey. Mm. That part. Uh, yeah, but I got about twelve bitches that I just want to put out. There. I don't they like too the many scent catfish. Scent. Twelve. Yeah. Well, God damn. And there's some catfish episodes where you know people done sent some people some money and they never seen somebody. Mm-hmm. No, I'm in savage mode, so I'm gonna be having fun this month. So I'll keep y'all posted. Part two coming up. <laughs> well, Crystal, um, I would say I would, you know, I just send me. You know what you can send me. I got but you. I don't Instagram, want no parts of Twitter, me. what? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. Uh, I, don't, this, I don't know. <laughs> this, this is, is a wink, you, wink, but I don't want no parts of it. This, <laughs> but this you is what you do. Just create a burner account and make sure it doesn't trace back to you. That's all, all right. you got. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> how the business goes and whatnot. <laughs> If this Facebook be asking me to go to a dating site, I'm like, first of all, why is Facebook trying to become a whole date, like a matchmaking site? That's just Automatically, weird. I don't want no Negro talking about, oh, if we had to tell our story of how we met, I don't want it to be like, we met on Facebook and on the dating site. <laughs> that sounds so fucking whack. Honestly, I That's met a couple. When people go and get but relationships from Christian people. I met a couple people on blackplanet.com, but I don't know if that counts. I wanted to sound more authentic, like we met on Tinder. We went, we met through friends of a friend on Facebook, not a Facebook dating site. That sound motherfucking whack as fuck. No, we're not doing that. 2022, y'all. Oh. I just want to meet somebody extremely rich. Go to Miami. Hell no, they're scammers. She's from, she's scammers. from Miami. <laughs> scammers. Just scammers. But, return, but return. I don't know coming to my house for a scammer. No. Yeah. <laughs> you said rich, though. You just, I went straight to the throat. Like, they're rich, though. No, girl. There's nothing but scammers in Florida. That's it. It's just scammers. <laughs> <Central Girl. laughs> You're right, because they scam the hell out of on the borrowed time. What the hell is going on in my kitchen? They 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 got tired of working out of India and they just they said, well, I'm gonna just leave it right here. Mm, you're right. So you're looking for a legit person that makes money without the scamming mm. portion. Yeah, I don't okay. need to be in prison. <laughs> no, it's just gonna be him, and you just take over I, his uh, empire. Yeah, because I don't need no. I don't want to be nobody's girlfriend in prison, trying to survive. That's not like some Anna Nicole shit. <laughs> <laughs> like some Anna you know, she, I, I do love me some Anna over Marilyn Monroe. I would tell you that. <laughs> but Anna was just uh, she didn't live long enough to, to spend it. So oh shit, yeah, that part. And, and then after she fought with the kids and still won it, and then she died. Like girl, mm. how you do all this fighting just to die and not spend it? You and I know that was a setup. The fuck? Oh, they He's gonna get a one way or another. I know they yeah, were she... all that money. <laughs> mm-hmm. She was a damn crackhead. Uh. Like why you why you went to a different country, like a diff uh, out of town just to be a crackhead? You could have stayed home and been a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> I just I just wanna know what type of nigga <laughs> is out there just Giving women money they never met. I never understood that. <laughs> Niggas and females doing that. Watch catfish episodes. You'll see I, men I've, and I've females seen, doing I've that. I've seen Facebook. those episodes and they're all dumb. All of them dumb. I hate to see it because some of them was just like, they're either really attractive and then like they just get duped by another attractive person or some evil bitter bitch that just like don't like them. Well, don't like them. <laughs> Or they just like people? what? Don't forget about the ones who what's that thing called? The one the GoFundMe? Yeah, GoFundMe. 
when they be out here talking about something, they can't get home and they need some money and people be out here supporting about twenty thousand dollars. They dumb too. Oh, you're talking about the hoes from the all star game. I, I understand them. Yeah. That's they go the same to, uh, thing. You don't I, know nothing. Or do you remember in Virginia when the homeboy used to be driving around his car talking about something he need gas money? Nigga, stop driving it. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> like you have a whole daughter in the back seat talking about you need gas money. Stop driving. How you driving in a circle and you need gas money? It was like my da- it was like I'm trying to get some food for my daughter and all that other stuff. He ain't trying to get I'm trying to like if you don't take her ass in a house somewhere, it's just Please I'm like, I seen, this, I seen this overseas and I was disgusted. Get the fuck <laughs> I didn't I came back home to be disgusted. <laughs> uh-uh. Like, we, back then, y'all used to have a little bit of value. I used to think so. And then all of a sudden, I come home and it's like all the little kids outside begging for money. I was like, God damn. Y'all must have watched Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, that I think I don't know. I said, I wish I was in the same particular movie. Uh, you know, uh, B, remember that girl that went AWOL or almost went AWOL? She was like missing for a whole month. Mm-hmm. What was her name? Because I like my nickname for her was like Sunshine. You remember her name? Yeah, I don't remember her, her government name. She didn't go eight while she just didn't come to work. She was done. Yeah, I know. She was. She told, she told, she told him she told that me what she quit. <laughs> she, she told me. She told me. She told me what happened. She said she was depressed and she was just in her room and no one just bothered to look in her PPV. Mm-hmm. That's what she told me. And then one day she was just like, okay, I'm going to just come back. And then that was it. That's when I realized they didn't look for people. They didn't. Because I don't know. Because <laughs> I was like, you mean you was in your own PPV the whole time and nobody ain't bothered you? <laughs> I'm looking. They just let you go a- almost a wall. She was like, you wait for like almost 30 days and uh, Lord. Then they stop sitting, they stop, you know, producing a check for you. At that point, it's automatic. The check stops. Yeah, I know. You know, she told me one day I could never have a girlfriend because I'm like, I'm too likable. Yeah, too likable. What does that mean? That's that modern shit, yo. No, it was just like, I'm too, it's the funny, the, the funniest thing is like, I had a girlfriend at the time and mm-hmm. she was standing, she was sitting right next to her and she didn't know, I, I don't know if she knew I was in a relationship, but she was like, you know, you shouldn't have a girlfriend, you just too nice and I see like everybody likes you and all that stuff and yet my girl, my ex-girlfriend was just sitting next, right next to her, she was just uh-huh. sitting right next to her. And I'm just sitting there stuck, and I didn't say another word because I felt like the next word I was going to say was probably my last. <laughs> what did your girlfriend say? The F Loki felt like she just said you was a hoe. Basically. Yeah, but I wasn't going. <laughs> right. That was the worst part. I wasn't even hoeing. That was faithful. When you come and say, I always see you around so many girls. Oh, you're so likable. Blah. No, bitch, you just call me a hoe. Excuse me? <laughs> you see, <laughs> read through bullshit real quick. We know when it's a diss. We we, we ready to fight. So, Ray, mm-hmm. what did your girl do? Because I know she was feeling some sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> she, was... she gave me a death stare. Mm-hmm. And I just and I just sat there and ate my food. <laughs> Wait, what color was she? It it depends on the color. Uh, like the white yeah. Uh, no, I was saying the black girl. I I saying the black girl. Yeah, that that's terrible. She ain't nothing. Oh, she punk. She got punked on at the galley. Mm-hmm. 
I know no, she got punked in there. I wouldn't say all that, but she, I didn't, the girl didn't look, uh, the girl that went AWOL, she didn't know I was in rela- relationship. I don't know why, because I, I know I damn sure mentioned it, but. But here's the no thing. way. First of all, if you're sitting somewhere <laughs> with somebody, another female, right? You're already sitting there and they walk up. We all, you know, if you've been in motel, you see somebody, two people sitting together. They probably sit together often because she, and you're that's like, oh, planned. he must be talking to her. That's planned. It's, what material? Man. That we should. We see it. That was so funny. You know oh, what? Look, I, I would have, yeah, I would have, I could, excuse me, bitch. Mm. <laughs> y'all, y'all do have a y'all do have a point because like when I was they I felt like because I'm not going to say my girl wasn't liked but there was some people that just wasn't fond of her and I felt like they would flirt in front of me just to piss her off right and my dumb ass mm-hmm. just not notice because you're genuine it's okay <laughs> <laughs> Cause she was supposed to be the one to be like, uh, uh-uh. uh. Yes, they felt yeah, like but you can't, you can't back. really. But you know you can't really do that in the military, especially, especially you know people get. Getting... You, you remember Chaz? You remember Brinson, right? Yeah, Chaz. Mm-hmm. Uh, Man, she used to be throwing blows. Uh, uh-uh. you know what? You know what? I can see me. You on the being... ship? You had to check, folks, left and right. You had to. Right. Material me would have given each other the eye and be like, you gonna let her say that? To you? <laughs> I'm telling you, because there was, I'm telling you, military girls is a little bit different. Like, we, we function differently. Like, we act like whole little niggas, and I'm like... Look, I, I, don't, I don't know if she did check her or not, uh-huh. or they told her about her or not. Uh-huh. I just stayed by his quiet because I did. She was mad for the rest of the like half the day. I know she was mad because she, she uh, kept on yeah. playing her head. I'm like, yeah, she was. I ain't do that. I, I, I was like, I ain't do nothing. But it was just yeah, mad. She's like, he didn't even try to defend me. Right? Did she mention that? Right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got cursed out. So you know, what I'm doing, right? The woman that came up to you to act like she didn't know what the fuck was going on because women are very observant. She was mm-hmm. peeping before she even asked you that question to see if you would defend her. So she now know that she can get away with murder, and she's going to continue to do that shit and do little stuff to piss her off. Because now you know. Laugh, laugh out of control, and then slap your hand, like put her hands on your shoulders, dog. Or make uh, jokes with you, and they just be, they just be holding information so that they can try to knock your girl's uh, crown off. And mm -hmm. I'm in these streets, so yeah, she was very humble. (laughs) She gave you the death (laughs) seer. Lord Lord Jesus, that's. (laughs) God bless your heart. <laughs> I I didn't have the humble the humbleness on the ship. I used to be telling these little boys, uh no, bye. Excuse me. Let me go. I've seen you do it. I'm not even I've seen you do it. <laughs> Very tough. All thing. that all that key keying, pretending girl, first of all, you just need some some um I was like, all y'all y'all doing all of that just so y'all can go to the ship store and get some free food. Y'all just look and then they and then they wife gonna pull up on the ship. Oh, uh uh-uh. uh, we're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not I was trying to, I was trying to be the only military man that people women can trust because they don't trust military men at all. That's what like, because <laughs> anyway, I, I saw that point, but at the same time, I was just like, I tried to. I was trying to be fake. I was being faithful. It was like, but I did. I will say I did notice that a lot more women did start flirting, and then I was just like, uh, I need to get away. <laughs> I had a friend a long time ago. Um, he was like, "Hey, yo," he's like, "Yo, D, um, 
You ever experience when you had your first, this is when we had like our first girlfriend. She's like, yo, what do you got your first girlfriend? Did all these girls just come out of nowhere and just Bro. all of a sudden interested, flirting and shit like that? I was like, you know what? Yeah. And he's like, yo, you know what that is? That's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that shit kill. And then when you single, they just disperse. Just like, like you know, damn well you're committed. You won't pull that shit, but it still creeps this way to fucking fuck with you. I'm like, you're like, no, it's not, where was it's, this? It's no, I about wish it was like this. I had to have either. a scent of my girlfriend or something to activate y'all. What the fuck? Yeah, it's something about know. somebody who's attached to somebody. You want to see, like, how bad you are, like. I could still snatch them up. But you don't want them for real. But it's something about not being single. Like, all of a sudden, you become territorial. Like, like I owned that before. Oh, he wanted me. Yeah. All of a sudden, you get to competing with something you don't want. I'm like, what? And you know what's crazy? They be in competition and the other woman that the guys with don't even fucking know that they're in a competition. Exactly. This is bullets that she's bullets. But this bitch is made out of gold armor while this bitch is made <laughs> out of cash. Like, mm -hmm. let's not do this. That is insane. Because the same bitch said in naked pictures, now I'm gonna post that shit on the dating sites and only fans and I'm gonna make money off of your dumb ass. What's good? <laughs> Ooh. Go ahead. Shit. <laughs> and this is why and this is exactly why I don't cheat. This is why, why I'm father I'm says God bless you, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I don't this is why I don't cheat, man. It's not worth it. But mm -hmm. right, it's not even about you're a genuine real, you know, motherfucker. Excuse my French. But it's these <laughs> hoes that's gonna come when you get your queen. And that's the shit that I don't like. So when bitches want to come up at your queen like, oh, I dated him two years ago, let me fucking know so I can murder their ass. Like, we're not doing this in 2022. The shit needs to mm. stop. When people are near happiness, bitches be coming out like worms, and that shit is annoying. Attracted to it, yo. Fuck. Damn. Sis, like, you didn't get... How... Why are you bringing something up from, from two years ago? Like... Mm. Because I, I understand. I truly understand. I'm getting it now. But <laughs> damn. <laughs> like, you still holding on to two years old dick? Like, material. Tell me you ain't got a guy friend or a guy that you're interested in, and bitches be coming out of nowhere, like, oh, we're still friends. This is what he showed me. I don't know if you get yourself in that situation, but you could be minding your own business and they just be DM. How you know this person? Um, through your mother. You didn't know? Like, <laughs> don't bother me. Like, I'm gonna hurt your feelings. Don't be nosy like that. I don't like that. For some odd reason, it'd be like a season where old niggas just start popping back up. And, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and they come back to back, too. Mm -hmm. I know. And the crazy thing is, they don't just find me, like, off of... It'd be off of things, just be like, one is Sorry. coming out the email, like, why are you still remember my email address? <laughs> like a story. It was one dumbass nigga. I, I, I'm okay if he heard this podcast. But it was one Negro. I didn't want to date him. And he used my story material to be like, this could be us, but you playing around. Nigga, you in Korea. Yeah. Why the fuck you bothering me? You see, I got to do, like, what's happening? That's yeah. what I be talking about. Men and women, do. they just be activated and shit. And the weird thing is when somebody <laughs> is now in a full-blown committed, not yeah. even like some, you know, some, oh, we boyfriend and girlfriend, like, you now married. Why are you still thinking about the, the sex we had? It's weird. Like, I'm like, what's she not doing? That's weird. <laughs> In the words of Steve Harvey, men don't do closure. If, if a female come check me, girl, you be check you be checking to the wall, cause uh, <laughs> <laughs> girl, you better go talk to that wall. Don't talk to me, cause I have, I don't have nothing to talk to you about. First of all, I don't even know you. 
That part. Uh, that part. We, we not friends. If we was friends, and that was a nigga you used to, like, if we are friends, and that's a nigga you used to be with and sleep with, oh. girl, that's nasty. Because I don't want me <laughs> to be talking about how the sex was. That's just weird. Oh, I don't need that weird. type of friendship. Oh, he, do he still do he still do uh, mm. do he still do what? That's not even friendship at that point. That's just them being nosy. Yeah, that's Girl, be doing that to you for real? I instantly, I instantly turn dry. Mm. Don't want it no more. <laughs> Girl, you can go. <laughs> no, Ray, you don't understand. These bitches be look. I, look, we need a whole session to talk about this shit. How bitches move? Not women, bitches. Little girls, like it's not mm-hmm. cool. It be sad too, and it and it be and and the women that get attacked is the ones that be not even minding the girl, but the minute they'll comment under a nigga's page that they're fucking or dealing with, these bitches come out like worms. I kid you not. <laughs> I kid you not. Full blown hyenas, or what's that? Leeches, <laughs> leeches. Just... leeches. It's like it's like they should detect a, a damn bat signal out. Like, girl, where did you come from? <laughs> That's the best way to fucking explain it. There's no other way. Like all I said was hi, mm. and all of a sudden you you want to tell me, oh, you know, he's my baby girl. <laughs> Did I ask? Did I ask someone to be a stepmom? Yo, <laughs> did I ask you that? That part. That part. And then the, oh, the ones he, that are really no, he, gonna do. He took me to dinner. Oh, he did you eat time. well? Did you eat well? <laughs> <laughs> we done took over the podcast. I'm out. <laughs> I, I'll put that on the list. This is just like the sketchy shit, sketchy bitches do. Just for you. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I would like to thank the panel for jumping on. As once again, I would like to thank all y'all for listening to hear us talk our shit again. This is, you know what? Let me just say, podcast and we started out. Peace. Cheers. Mm-hmm.